Here, I'll put you some more in a cup. What's up with you? You have to get bro? yours to the top. You is extra right now. To the top. Ever. Hey. I'm that man, a thousand dollar shirt. Damn, what was that? Ooh. Oh, whoa. Damn. Whoa. What is you doing, with Wow. Show? Man, what the hell going on? Hold up, this is collusion here. <laughs> I knew before God. Hey, nah, you don't the go. Holy Ghost. Did y'all have sex at the ranch? Yes or no? Were you inappropriate at the ranch? Yes or no? Jesus. Oh my house. kids. <laughs> oh my mama and my hood. Hell no. Get me seem like I'm some kind of liar. You're not gonna make me a liar. I didn't know about her, no. so I don't have so no problem. I don't even know nothing about that. That, oh, that could be whatever. Photoshop, whatever. Would you like anything else? You sure you can give it to me? Anything you want. Your lips. Your girl Carly Red is doing big things out here. I got a new outlook and I'm starring in a new movie called 30 Days in Atlanta. And the best thing of all is my new relationship. This is my man, Jaseel Robertson. Grammy nominated, Forbes list, hit maker, Young Jock. He is definitely an upgrade from Benzino, and he throws it down when it comes to loving your girl. How did I do? You looked amazing. Okay. Well, I feel like you got me to thank for that. What? It, it seems so close to our real life situation. It is close to our real I mean, life situation. I can cry and laugh in a scene at the same time and think about you and do it like nothing. I've been rocking with Carly for about eight months now. She definitely knows how to spice things up. She's a handful. I understand she's been through some crazy relationships in the past, but I'm not that dude. I have so many suspicions about us. You know, I don't trust you. What I do? How many times am I calling you, but then your phone go to voice? No, that's number one. Number two, uh -huh. there's chicks in the studio flirting with you. Number three, your outfit. This is what you had on last night. Yeah, you can trap in the same clothes for three days, as long as you wash your ass bird bath. When your man shows up in the same clothes as last night, fresh from a bird bath or not, you gotta wonder where he was and who was he with. Am I wrong for thinking that? You need to communicate with me. You need to do a lot of things, but guess what? I have a solution. We should live together. That's your way of keeping tabs on me. Nah, it'll make me feel comfortable. I have a hard time trusting men, but if Jock and I live together, it'll help me see that there's nothing to worry about. Carly, look, real talk, man, like... Yes or no? What? You said that like this the end all be all. Like, no, I'm not giving no ultimatum, but I'm saying, you know me, I'll disappear. I don't feel like I'm rejecting you or what you're asking me. I'm just saying, let me just think about it. Let me put some thought into it. Because this is for real. Like, you know, you know what I've been through. And you talk about a marriage for 10 years and all that. Like, I've done that. Let's just talk about it in a different atmosphere. Carly been on my case. We've gone through several realtors. I finally found a realtor and a home that I think will fit for what we're trying to do. I made an offer. It's kind of hard because, you know, I was married for 10 years. I don't know. I don't know if I'm ready to do this all over again. I don't know. Let's do dinner tonight. Okay. So I you love, love you. You love me? I love you too. Mr. Hart. Mr. Hart. Mr. Hart. Mr. Hart. <laughs> Jock set up studio time for me and him to work on our new song, Heartbreakers. He's running late as usual, but who do I run into? Jeremiah. He got his songs like Birthday Sex, and he's willing to help me with my vocals. I know you work hard. You know, when he's in city, he calls me, says, hey, I'm in the studio, come by. I hear his songs, he hears my songs. Heartbreak. He's a good friend, and I definitely trust his expertise when it comes to music. What you think? Sound like it. <laughs> I think you just need to take your time, like, just breathe. Okay. Like, come from your diaphragm. You want to use your whole breath. Deeper. He's sexy. Jeremiah is sexy, and it felt really good to have his hands touching on this Carly Red. The name of the song is called Heartbreakers. Oh, really? <laughs> Are you the inspiration behind this song? No, I don't break hearts. What you do? I save them. You save hearts. <laughs>
<laughs> I really appreciate Jeremiah's help. I know I'm being a little flirty. I'm just having some fun. And my gut tells me Jock got some mess going on. I'm not sure what, but it definitely feels good to get some attention from a man that's not trying to hustle me. When you come back. I so. Okay. You mad? Yes, I'm what? mad. I don't want you to go. I gotta go, though. I know. All right, thanks. Yeah. Appreciate that. Meant a lot. What's good? What up, family? Oh, how are you? Oh, Jack, this is Jeremiah. So, yeah, I'm good. What's up? I'm chilling, bro. Bye. All right, bro. Thank you for helping me. Sure. Appreciate that. Good luck. Okay. What's all that? What you mean? What you mean? What's all that? All that extra face to face talking and. Uh... You good? Yeah, I'm good. Yeah, she I'm good, good. bro. She, you ain't gotta ask if she good. She good. 100. <laughs> I'm not paying you no attention. Yeah, don't pay me no attention. What's all that, though? I'm here working. You got it working? Oh, yeah. He was helping me with the track, mm -hmm. the song, face to everything. face, all that close. <sighs> it's yeah. five feet rude. I walk in. It's Standing right in your face. He was helping too close. me. I know he in town. And I know you've been out with him a few times. No, straight up. I already know what it is. But I don't Whatever. come at you sideways the way you come at me. Yeah. Let me tell you something. I'm working. All that shit in that song, that shit fits you very well. That's why I picked yeah. the song for your ass. And I'm working. Why is Jeremiah all in your face? Because if you all in his face, then apparently oh, so that's you what can, you want. So you can eat shots off a of bitch's <laughs> stomach and club. Then, oh, now you're this, trying to have a good time in the yeah. You call it what you want to call it. Y'all nasty. What that hell do looking like Show no kiss my cover, kiss rocks, oh, bitch. Wow. Yeah, yeah, that's right. Get, get out you. of I, my section. I get out your section. Thank you, like, Bow. Hey, let me tell you something. Bow. No, don't this tell me. Get the out. difference. You can't put get me. The out. I choose to leave. Then you talking about moving in with get you. The you out. ain't gotta worry about none of that. Get you the the out. Get in with me. Get the out. Now how the hell Carly gonna come at me like I'm the bad guy? I picked out. The songwriter, the song, the producer, I put the session. I'm just a little late, but then I walk in the studio, and you got Jeremiah all up in your face. How you do that? Like, the idea of me and Carly moving in this house together, it's dead. You tell me. You are stressing You say me you out. want to move in together, right? You Did you really not say that? think what? that I'm going to put up with this bull or this cheating? But bull I walk in on you. He was trying to help me out. Right. My vocal exercises. Right. Work your vocal cords That's out. That's it. Your throat muscles. You saw right. nothing. No. You act like a schizophrenic. I don't have your like back. You have no, check this out. Right. I'm not going to allow you I'm to disrespect me. I'm not going to allow you to do that. So now you mad, huh? I guess you know how I feel all the time. I guess Paybacks is a bitch. Jack and I are finally back on track after some amazing makeup sex and I promise not to be messy. So today, I finally get to see the house he's so excited about. The only bad thing is, Jock's friend Kadia is the one showing us the house. Please act right, Carla. Nope. Thank you. Jock swears nothing's going on between them. Maybe he's telling the truth, but trust, I got my eye on this hoe. Hey, welcome back. What's up, baby? Hello, y'all. All right. So today we're going to view a five-bedroom, six-bath, fully finished basement property. Uh, the property is actually over 7,500 square feet, and I'm really excited for you to see it. I think it could be a great fit. All right. Let's go. Okay. Wait a minute. Aren't you the driver that drove us to Alabama? Oh. And aren't you the stylist and the tax preparer? Yes, actually I am. I wear a number of professional hats. Right. <laughs> Maybe it wasn't a good idea to put these two women together. But I love the house, and it's Kadeo's property, and I'm hoping Carla will be on the best behavior. All right, like I said, we have a grand 12-foot door for your entryway, route iron staircase, with actually a catwalk across the second floor so that you can overlook from upstairs into this great two-story family room. So what do you think so far? It's cool, what, what, what's, that's the kitchen that way? Yeah, let's proceed this way and go look into the okay. gourmet chef kitchen, which is actually excellent for entertaining, especially if you cook. Call it the keeping area? This is the keeping room right here oh, to your huh? right. <laughs> can we have sex on this mm -hmm. countertop? Yeah, of course we can. Mm -hmm. If that's what you feel like doing, this house seems all right, but I can barely focus because I'm so distracted by this chick. Something just don't feel right. And you know, Carly Red will get to the bottom of things fast. Any questions or concerns at this point? The sound system, did it have like the, the speakers throughout? I didn't see none of it that. It does. If you actually look back this way, it's okay. fully wired. If you don't mind, baby, you know, I'll be liking them. Mm -hmm. Just move yeah. through. Let me go check okay. the house. And, uh, you know, I'll just be back in a minute. I'll be right here. Right. Mm -hmm. Okay, babe.
Do you have any questions that I start about? Yes, I have a question. Okay. Are you my man? Have we had sexual relations before? Is that what you're asking? Monica Lewinsky, check this out. I'm just asking you, are you my man or not? That's it. You know what I'm saying? Because, I mean, I know my man gets around. And so do you. The only person I get around with is your man. So you my man. I absolutely am. Every night. Bitch. doing what a man do. I'm walking through the house. I'm looking at the sound system. I'm running downstairs. God damn, all hell done broke loose. What the f just happened? What she just told what? me she was f you. So you need to check your hoes. You know what? Are you I told myself. Are you I, I made a promise to God that I wasn't going to tell no lies about I need to know if you a bitch or not. Yes, I'm Carly. I mean, I can't even believe it. I, 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 I just said that. Carly made me so mad, just came out. And ain't no taking that back now. Today, I apologize for that. Can you just, can we go? Yeah, bitch, back your bitch Shut up. up. Chill out, man. Mother Jock. I knew something was going on between him and this chick. And everybody thinks I'm crazy. Mother check this out. No, you, you out. Bitch, you go be No, 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 no. I got to talk to you about. Really? So, while y'all together, y'all go ahead. Carly. Toodles. I can't, I can't deal with no, it was to you, I can't do this, yo. I hope my good tonight. You know what? He can have that overweight speaking with a fake accent Teletubby if that's what he wants. Because Carly Red is done. All I need is a ride home. Man, get your ass in the goddamn car and let's you know go, man. Beat that bitch ass all day, every day. Man, shut up, close my goddamn door. <laughs> this may be the dumbest shit I ever did. I really don't know how I thought I was going to put these two together and not get this type of outcome. Man, what can I say? It could have been a player move, but went horribly wrong. You a hoe and she a hoe. Well, why don't you get out Both of the car? Both of y'all hoes. Get out the car then. I don't give a Get out the car then. I ain't going nowhere. Get out the car. I ain't going nowhere. Hey, Carly. Hey, get out the car. Are you going to drive? Get out the car, Carly. I get to the door, and I'm like, yo, what you doing? This is the dumbest shit I ever seen in my life, man. Of all the ridiculous stunts that she could have pulled, by far, this top them all. Yo. Crazy red and full of fake. Let her go on by her business. I'm gonna ride with you, man. <laughs> Seen him be. You look like you ain't going to the studio. You see I was coming to the studio. What? What? what seen the pops up at the studio out the blue. And I'm like, damn, she looking good in them jeans. We need to take this out here. Let's finish you talking. You up your session. That's awesome. No, I just want to, you know, get out of here. Eat some cake? What else you brought out there? What else you got out there? That's it. Just me and the pound cake. Jock and I get along great. But the bottom line is, I want more than just a friendship. I want my family back together. Period. Where are we going with this? We're always flirting with each other. I mean, seem to like. Yeah, I just miss being in the studio with you. I do. I like to support Jock in any way I can. He wanted to go back into the studio, so I'm helping him pay for some sessions. I usually leave Jock alone when he's in the studio, but today, I haven't been able to reach him for a couple of hours. So I figured I'd stop by and check on my investment. I know how you feel about me, and I know how I feel about you. I just want to know where we are. Listen. What's up? Hey, Cena. Hello. I was trying to reach you a couple times. I couldn't reach you. I know. She's gonna stop by, have a talk with me. I don't need you to explain while I'm here. You're welcome here. You're a part of his family. I know. He's our common denominator. Last time these two ladies were in the same room together, things just didn't go too well. I mean, KD found me at Cena's house, man. It's just, yo, you would have thought World War Three broke out. You know what I'm saying? But today, KD rolls up kind of cool and professional and calm. I'm thinking, maybe I'm in the clip. If you respect your lane and you respect my lane. I know my lane, you should respect your lane. Which one's my lane? I don't know what your lane is. This is a perfect time we for you to tell her what the things that you do with me. Why don't you tell her how it really is between us? I don't know where things start to go left. I want it to be clear. Let's be clear. The role that you play in my life and the things that transpire 
fire, like her thinking that she could come to my house. I've had an issue with KD ever since she got with Jock and broke up our family. But when she came to my house disrespecting me, banging on my door, going crazy outside creating a scene, looking for her man, oh, I've been done. Does your girl know that we still smash her? Yo, I swear that came out like, oh, we're smashing, smashing, smashing. Yo, that had an echo on it, yo. I was like, no, don't say that. When was the last time you had sex with her? This is all I'm gonna say. Yeah, I have sent a lot of mixed signals and I did some things that I ain't had no business doing. Okay, I may have crossed that line a time or two, but I'm not about to sit up here and admit to that. You need to get her out of here. Can we just step outside? No. I just want you to chill. No, I'm, no it's a yes. That's how you gonna treat me. I'm being no. called. No. I'm no. stating facts and she can't handle the motherfucking facts. That's the problem. He's trying to save you. Is what he's trying to do. I'm not trying to save I'm me I'm from saying. nothing, bitch. What the fuck you think you are, Doc? You better shut this bitch. Hold on, hold on. Let's go. Don't try to put me out. Let me get my Don't try to put me out. I'm really not a vindictive bitch by nature. I'm just a mother who wants her family back together, and that means KD has to go. KD wants proof? I'm gonna give her some. Forever, what's up? I ain't seen Cena since the last time she kind of showed her ass at the studio session or whatnot. I had to get up out of there because, man, it was getting kind of hectic. The kids aren't here. They're at the sitters. Everybody's gone. It's just me and you. Just wanted to talk. Hold on, I got something else for you. Hold on. I'm starting to feel like, okay, maybe I need to get up off this stuff and get my ass back to the crib, KD. <laughs> this little voice is in the back of my head like, Jock, get your ass up and go. Run, run, my son, run. So, what are you down here doing? <laughs> <laughs> what are you doing? I wanted to put on something more comfortable. Like she doing a full spread for Victoria's Secret. Okay. Let me figure out what you got going on. Oh, you want me to take it off? I ain't them your words, not mine. I'll show you. I see my. Oh, you. Oh, you play too much. What are you doing? <laughs> what? Jock is like a little puppy. All he needs is a little treat and. He'll come running. Look at all the way out. Look at that. It's only so much that a man could take. You want a little chocolate dip toe? She wanna dip a little toe. She wanna dip a little toe. She wanna dip a little toe. She wanna. Hey Katie. <laughs> All right, ladies and gentlemen, I'll strap up. Are you ready? Here, here, here we go. Babe. Yeah, what's up, babe? How was your day? It's good, what's up? After Cena showed up with her nonsense, I believe I have every right to be mad at Jock. But this time, I'm gonna try something different. I'm gonna kill him with kindness and remind him of everything he's got right here at home. I was just kind of in the mood for us to do something a little bit different tonight. Like what? I'm going to tie you up. <laughs> you want to tie me up? Mm-hmm. I'm ready to try new things, you know what I mean? But <laughs> just for the record, this is the first time that Jock has ever been strapped down with a Jock strap. Mm -hmm. I say, let me out this shit. You got to let me out this shit. Oh. <laughs> I have a nice little outfit I want to go put on for you. You want something to drink before I come back? See, I'm good. You got my arms a little tight, my blood. It's all right. You don't need your arms. I really don't know what's going on with the women in my life. Like, just like out the blue, they just like crazy aggressive. First seen her, now I could deal. This may be something I can get used to. I'll be right back. I really don't know how I feel, lay y'all tied up and stuff. I mean, the vulnerability is just way too much for me, but I'm pretty sure KD gonna make it worth my while. Kadia! Yes, baby? I think you got this too tight on my arms, man. I have been thinking about you all day today. I made a 
lot of special things so good. for oh. you. One nice strawberry. Oh. <laughs> God, I, my mouth, I just wanted you to eat it. I was kind of a little off guard today at work. Okay. Your baby mama number four came to my office and she showed this to me. Does that look familiar? Suck <laughs> toes now? No. Oh my goodness, use the nasty. I should have known all this old extra ooh baby. I long day at work, I'm gonna put something on you. Sex was not real. I mean, Cena could have just been like, you know what? I had your man. And then maybe I could have talked my way out of it. <laughs> Video evidence, just a setup. That's entrapment. Oh, she gonna hear it from me. You better believe Cena gonna hear it from me. That's if I can ever make it up out of here alive. You know what I'm saying? I'm like stuck. Michael Jackson. Katie, let me out of here. See, Turn this off in the hood so I can explain this to you. You want to do it, but you don't want to see it. But I didn't do nothing. You, you didn't I mean, I did that. I didn't go all the way though. I, baby, now. I think she put something in my drink. Ain't no way in hell Cena drugs you. If you really think I'm stupid enough to believe that, you got another thing coming. I got something for you, Jock. The night is young. What you doing with that? I'm gonna teach you a lesson. No, don't teach you. Because you embarrassed me today. Hey. You allowed her to come to my office hey, and embarrass I me at nothing. my place of business. I didn't know your office, baby. Oh, no, but you set it up. You let hey, it happen. Hey. Baby, come on, man. Quit for real? Stop. Are you serious? Was anybody there to tell you to stop? No. When you were... Girl. You know when was the last time me and you did strawberries and chocolate? You remember? No. I don't either. That's the point. I don't either. I went completely diary of a mad black woman on Jock's ass. I've been good to you. I've been so good to you. Yeah, please. Uh, I've been by your side. Can you please? Like since we've been together in this world that you have created. Okay. I'm sorry. Like, you tricked me so good that I'm turned on by it. This is why I never wanted to be strapped down by no woman ever. Just don't kill me. What are you doing? You're not finna leave me. Yes, I am. Oh, you're not, oh, you're not finna leave me. I'm taking a break. I, 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 did not go, I did not go all the way with it. I left. You didn't go all the way with it. I didn't, baby. Just let me go. Same thing about work. Back to see the house. No, baby not. mama number four. Man, you'll never touch my damn lips again. It's a really sick little twisted little space in my head that's got me like, damn, Katie, this was the sexiest you ever did. You look a little thirsty. No, stop, Kadeel. <laughs> you know what? I still love you, though. When you get loose, call me, maybe I'll answer. Stop playing. Kay, man, hey, don't, hey, okay. Don't walk out that door. Me that y'all don't know. Uh -oh. All these women are fond of each other, but they do not want no parts of KD because for some odd reason they feel like she's the one that brings all the drama. But I'm trying to make sure everything's right, you know what I'm saying, and let everybody know that, you know, KD is a part of the family. And if we're gonna have these gatherings, then KD should be here too. Yay! Oh, what the hell? I look up and I see Jock walking in the door, bringing this homewrecker into our family meetup. And all I can think about was that Jock has finally lost his ever-loving mind. Hi. Hello. Hello. <laughs> For months now, these ladies have treated me like an outsider who's not even welcome in a little baby mama's club. And I fault Jock for allowing that. So now that he done messed up, he trying to make a point by bringing me here. Plan on reminding all of these women that Jock is with me now. And I ain't putting up with no more disrespect, especially from little Miss Toe Sucker over there. This is very interesting. It is. Hello, everyone. Hey, how are you? Ho, Cena, I'm sorry. Baby mama Don't number four. Don't start with me. No, I'll start, start with, with you when I'm ready bitch. to start Don't with you. Don't start with me. come here with good intentions. But I took one look at baby mama number four, and all I could think about was my man sucking a ugly toe. And I couldn't help myself. You don't no. call me no mother no. hoe, seen a bitch, cause I with my father and my kids, bitch. I would've never had them if you were good enough to keep them in the first place. 
The minute Katie called seen out her name, I knew we was in trouble. You want me to give it to you? I want you to give it to mother me, you stupid bitch. Oh, fuck me, bitch. I'll tear this mother up, you stupid ass bitch. She know how important it is for me to be able to stay on good terms with these women. I mean, just for the sake of the kids. And in two seconds, she started a riot. I'm so sick of this bitch. Get in your mind. I'm in mine. Get in your mind. No, that. She came in the door with a fed up attitude. She sure did. That bitch, she fed exactly. me. She exactly. Me. And you let her. Uh. Stop letting her. Because the day you get mother power over you, she got your ass. And if that was the case, I can swing on everybody in this mother. You're right. At the end of the day, we in this because of that. So you don't get mad at the woman, you get mad at him because he should have checked that I wish I could ignore this chick, but she's been nothing but trouble ever since the day she broke up my family. She uses her little position to try to disrespect each one of us women and then wonders why nobody likes her. See them, Fatima, Alex. You good? I'm great. I'm this good. Is, this is the problem. Let me defuse the problem. I'm good. So here I am in a room full of women being attacked. And does my man stand by me and defend me? <laughs> He's too busy making sure they're OK. Come here. No. KD. Man, are you out your mind? I just sat here. I will slap the out of you. You believe me done with my life. Bye. I shouldn't even invite you. Go take care of your babies. I will. What I've been doing do that. Mean? I've been doing that. Bye. Well, you then. <laughs> if you want to leave, go. Goodbye. I ain't never been put out of no place. Jock can sit his ass up in here all night with these women that he's had past relationships. I didn't come here to get attacked by him or his guard dogs. Good riddance to all of y'all. Let's see how far you get with, with your baby mamas. Goodbye. <laughs> So my boy Jake Nix got us all over for a night of poker, and of course his girl Amber, she walk around the house with this little bodysuit on, looking like she just wanna. All right, yeah, I ain't gonna even, I don't even go with her. <laughs> Stevie came up to the station. Yeah. He didn't announce on the radio. The him and Jocelyn was never married. Huh? What? Him and Jocelyn was never married. Oh, we knew that already. You knew that? I didn't know that. Oh, I, didn't I didn't know that. I'm not sure why everybody believed the hype. I've known it all along. What I didn't know is though, Jay's girl Amber acts the same way in the crib as she acts in the club. <laughs> See, look at you doing the R&B. <laughs> Cut the R&B out, man. What you doing? He, he wanted to drink. Wowzers. Maybe I want to drink it for him too. Ooh. Ooh. I've been in some situations where Amber was in the club, and um, I thought that she may have been um. A little too flirtatious. Not a little, a lot of too flirtatious. I mean, Amber, that's what she does. And for whatever reason, Jay puts up with it. Probably because he's doing his own thing, too, man. I'm going to be honest. These two got a pretty strange relationship. Last time I seen you, you know what I'm saying? You were talking about to get her up. My brother got options. I see. Yeah. I see. Wow. Shit, man, Amber's shaky, bro. She be doing too much flirting. I'm cool with the stripping, you know what I'm saying? But it just be too much flirt going on. You got to flirt to get the tips. Amber and I have been together for almost a year. And honestly, we just been having fun. The biggest problem with me and Amber is jealousy. Jealousy causes trust issues, and trust issues causes the fight 24-7. And who wants to deal with that? Now, me and Tiara, we've been flirting a little bit more. She been trying to convince me to get rid of Amber, but it might be that time to cut Amber loose and see what's popping with Tiara. Here, I'll put you some more in a cup. Bro, what's up with you? You to get yours to the top. You is extra right now. To the top? Amber. Damn. Damn. I'm that man, $1,000 shirt. Damn, what was that? Ooh. Mm. Whoa. Damn. Whoa. Damn. Whoa. Damn. What the is you doing, Michelle? Wow. I got a mess on him. Now, I'm pretty sure that I just seen Amber, Janie's girl, rub up on Jock Tommy. I mean, hit Tommy, you know what I'm saying? We already done seen how she get down in the strip club. Now she want to do it in front of her man? Boy, that girl got some balls on her. Why cuz I always get himself in these sticky situations? What is you doing? Oh, Coulda gave him a so that's being disrespectful as Wow. Cuz I spilled water on him? You ain't gotta wipe that man. What the wrong with you? 
You told me to take care of your people. At this time, my eyes are kind of opening up to different options, because Amber tripping. And you know, as a man, especially out here in Atlanta and all these women, you start opening up your eyes to find another woman that might make you a little bit more happy than the one you with. Can you blame me? You didn't goddamn pat this man <laughs> goddamn it. Oh. Well, I haven't been patting yours if you want to get Technically, over my thigh. She touched your thigh meat? I haven't been patting your thigh meat. And why haven't that been happening? Because somebody else has. Why don't you talk about that? Did your friends know about that? Jay's been on some about me flirting with his friends. But you're doing the exact same thing behind my back. Go back to your poker. Damn. God damn. How many of y'all here rock with y'all? Make some noise. But when y'all woke up that morning and seen all them goddamn memes on the internet with my hair like that, y'all wasn't with me. I wasn't even with me the next day. Scrap, I know you know what I'm talking about. Come like goddamn Ernie and Bert beat the That's right. Your boy is also a comedian. Tonight, I'm gonna step outside of my comfort zone. I'm gonna do a little stand up. Scrappy came out. Tommy came out support. She brought a girl lovely Mimi. I mean, the crowd's feeling the kid. You know what I'm saying? You never know. This might be my next move. Come my time. Appreciate y'all. Now, I done seen Jock do his jokes before, and I ain't saying he need to just give up the music career yet, but I see improvement. And I also see a new woman on his arm. Jack supported me at my wine tasting. Now I'm supporting him while he does what he does. You know, that's what friends do for each other, but hopefully his event will be a little less drama than mine's was. You getting better. You getting yeah. better. I'm working on it. Yeah, I mean, I'm just really... I mean, you're real, like, you're real, like, everything type motherfucker. You're the renaissance. I'm just a new You dig what I'm saying? to find out through the streets that Jacques was having this little comedy show. Oh, apparently Jock got jokes. So I gathered my little crew. Now Jock has to explain to me and his baby mama Cena what's really going on with him and Tom. Uh, okay. That's what I'm a woman, that. I'm mature. Jock, what's going on? What's the f And write them amongst the ropes uh, if they can I purposely didn't tell Carly about my little show tonight, but here she is with her little new squad. With Melissa like she her henchman or something, and I already know Cena here because I called ass out about Rod. So far, I've done a pretty good job of keeping Carly away from Tommy and away from Cena. But it looked like tonight my little run done come to an end. How y'all doing? What you doing? You doing Tommy, babe? I'm in a happy mood. You in a hype mood, baby. Why you with Tommy the scammer? What? Tommy who? Tommy what? Tommy what? This is the moment I've been waiting for. The moment that Carly Rae realizes that I can steal her man just like she tried to steal mine. So what's up with you? So, oh. Uh, I mean, I'm chilling. You see what's up with him? You see what's up with him, bitch? This first. Come on now, dad. This first, bitch. You the thought that you always been, bitch. You have no pull. Bitch, get the fuck out of here. Come over, we can talk like ladies. I'm trying to ask my baby father why he here with you. That's what you need. They about to hump, Jack. Boom! You feel what I'm saying? You gotta watch the whole damn house crumble down. Now that what cuz old Jock get for playing with that pie. You know what I'm saying? You had a bitch, she couldn't even throw hundreds at me. She throw ones. It's How'd very disrespectful. It's very disrespectful. Circus clown who destroys Sierra's marriage. Come on, then, bitch. Come on. I never met this hoe before, so I guess it's hate by association. Well, the feeling's the same, sweetie, because you over here buddied up with the scam artist. What's up, huh? I've never met this girl, Carly, but Tommy told me that this is the hoe that stole her man. So if Tommy is ready to wreck, bitch, I'm right here with you, bro. Most valuable hoe. This is exactly 
exactly what I didn't want to happen between them two. I tried my damnedest to keep them apart. All hell done broke loose, man. I don't even know what the hell they yelling at each other. But I tell you what, I'm looking for security to wrap this night up real quick. You did. Get, get up off me, man. Calm down. Get, get up off me, man. I'm over this is over. Gonna make me motherfucker go to check. And turned over the leaf of my life, you know what I'm saying? After many failed relationships and an assortment of women bringing different messages to my life, hey man, I have finally come of age. Ladies and gentlemen, I finally found me the perfect woman to be by my side. Mm, good morning. Oh, what's all this? What you got on? You know, I got to work today, baby. It's Saturday, but I still got cases. I got called in to trial on Wednesday. Yes, boys and girls. Kendra is a real woman. She is a criminal and immigration attorney on her way to becoming a judge. Man, Kendra's so legit, she done helped me level up and grow up. Ooh, ooh, your breath tastes like Hennessy. Oh. Mm. I probably would have a little more fun if he was there, but. Well, it would have been good to get an invite. I think I'd just be looking, I'd be trying to protect you from everything. Your whole integrity as an attorney, you know what I'm saying? I, know, but... I just don't be one to. The extra, baby. I met Kendra about four years ago. When I met her, I'm gonna keep it 100. I was a complete savage, you know what I'm saying? But those days are behind me, man, because for the last two years, I've been totally exclusive with Kendra. Something happened off camera that we're not aware about. I ain't gonna tell it's cool. He gave me the, huh, I ain't gonna tell it. Carly tried to do something on the side of the building. I, I just, you just, I just. I, I tried to build it. Okay, I, I might have appeared to be flirting with Carly a little bit last year in Houston, but I mean, for real, for real, Kendra don't need to know about all that. Listen, I, I think I have the perfect event that I think we should attend. I What's that? stumbled across this in there when I was looking for it. Oh, it's an engagement party. <laughs> you know what it is. And I kind of feel like you was trying to hide it. I was. I'm trying to hide it from myself. What are you trying to hide? Because I feel like if you love me the way that you say you do, it shouldn't be a problem. Like, you should be able to go to a party that your ex threw. You got an invitation. Let's go. Do you really think you ready for this? Me and you just be like, hey, oh, that's Kendra right there. That's Jocelyn. Jocelyn, right right I'm as ready as I'm going to get. I can't get no more ready for it. The time is now. All I'm saying is that, you know, I feel like we've been together for some time. We are building an empire together, you know. We bought a house. We have businesses together and stuff. Let's let the world know who we are. We should be public out into the world. The world thinks that you're a single man. I know the Kendra wants to go to Carly's engagement party, but the fact that she wants to go so bad got me a little nervous. I'm definitely a changed man from who I used to be, man. And I just think we should leave the past in the past. So I really feel like we should just leave Carly and her party right where it's at. And why I gotta go to work, sweetheart? I love you. You gonna keep an open mind? Give me that. My mind always open. I love you, boo. Mm -hmm. Bye. All right, you good, boo. That's a nice suit, by the way. Thank you, baby. It's new. <laughs> Shout out to Young Jock in the building. We see you, baby. Who that girl is with Jack? <laughs> Well, well, well. All the magical creatures have come to the surface tonight, baby. <laughs> First, we meet Carly's fiance. Now my boy Jock pops up with his new boo, and I don't think anybody's seen her. Hell, what's next? Unicorns and leprechauns? Hell, I don't know. What's up, y'all? How y'all doing? Yeah, how you doing? Doing pretty good. Thank y'all for coming. I was kind of trying to figure out, do I want to, you know, but I say to myself, you know, get them out well with you. That's what I was telling them, like, it's nothing there. It's like, you know, we're like family now. I mean, that's a stretch, but I mean, I, I think that, I'm saying, like, brothers and sisters, like. In real life, man, I'm happy. We're going to let y'all be, though, all right? Good luck to y'all. All right, fam. Josh's girlfriend is cute or whatever. Good for you, Chuck. Go on and get yourself a boring chick. He must have been tired of all the Tatianas. Yeah, I told you. Tell me We cool. Brothers and sisters. Brothers and sisters. Come on. Y'all excited for y'all for it? You're going to show us the move. I got plenty the, of uh, What's that move, out. Jock, you was talking about one time on the radio? Cardi had a special move. It was like some. It was the Indian. I want to see but the Indian have... give a trick that he was talking about on the radio. Good job. Kurt. Come on, Kurt, man. 
You already know I'm skating on thin ice with Kendra ever since we jumped out the sprint and hit the cabin. And now you want to bring us an old sexcapade with me and Carly? Can I, I can I have that. a minute with my man for a minute oh. in our room? We gonna excuse ourselves. You might need some toys to go. Come on. Just a f pump. Come and then on. Jackie need the long we'll be back. I know how you do. <laughs> That, anyway, that's crossing boundaries. Come on. I have Carly, toys for everyone. Carly. Carly, that was a lot. I'm teaching a class right now. I mean, you felt like you just had to pull me away from everybody? I did, because I feel like we need to talk. On the way up here, on the bus trip, a lot of stuff came out. What do you mean stuff came out? That you was with Carly last year. That y'all went to a cabin and rented a cabin together or whenever you was on a trip. Now, I know the car is just trying to spread misery. I mean, because, th like, there's no truth to this, and I'm really annoyed for the simple fact that now I got to convince Kendra that I'm, like, an innocent man. Well, that ain't I'll no truth. Sure that's not like, that's matter. not like me and her. You should never be in a room, according to her, with your genitals out, ready to have sex, and she declined. My meat never met nobody on that trip. Why would she just say that? Because okay. misery loves All right, company. Then. Is she lying? Or she tell the truth? Of course she is lying. Okay, Are you well, serious? Perfect. That's all I want to know. Kendra, it's all false. Yes, it's lies. I put this on my mama, okay. I put this on my kids, and I put this on your father, rest his soul. Your name been tattooed on, on, on my genital for over a year now. She ain't see your name on it. She ain't seen it. I wanted to go so overboard to show my lady this was hers. I tattooed Kendra on my Carly, if you saw my you just saw it said, Kendra, right down the side of it. You know what I'm saying? I really don't know how to apologize for something I haven't done, but I apologize that you were even placed in that situation. Me and Carly, that was old news. Have you been true to me? Kendra, I have been true and I've been honest with you, baby. I'll take you know, you know how you make, you know, you know the happy you bring me. I know. I'm just letting you know I'm playing with me. I'm not playing with you. I just don't want no problems. We, me and you, we, we better than that, Kendra. All of this is all a part of the forgiveness of everything that we going through. Jock, Kendra. Now, I saw y'all getting into it with Carly earlier. As a matter of fact, you know what? Let me go get her ass so we can get this all squared away. Just like every other couple, I'm sure Jock and Kendra have their issues. Part of the problem is Carly and this information she decided she wanted to volunteer. And since this is about communication, Carly should be here to clear up the she was saying about Jock and Kendra's relationship. We all gonna go through We all gonna have issues. At the end of the day, that's all a part of it. I know, but I just, I just rather go through stuff with my mate without somebody creating that drama. You know what I'm saying? True. I'd rather just... Ain't nobody creating Hey. Carly. Don't bring my name up and don't bring you my name up in You be miserable as you are so miss like, said timeline. Yeah. And you, you asked a question. You was like, you in where's Shekana? We was all in the car, and I asked the question. I said, how long have you and Jock been dating? Been together. You said four years. I said, well, Carla, how long y'all with you? I said, almost five. At the end of the day, I'm, I'm not going to play no childish game with nobody in this room. I don't have to. Especially when people say me. name drop. What, what, what? Chill. Especially not me. <laughs> Stop. I don't have room. to name Stop. drop. No, I Move these two people from in between us. Okay, let's do it. On some real <laughs> real Okay, bitch. Jump yeah, up. I didn't let's go. Stop. 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 Carly just threw a shoe. It just went right past my head. Carly, you tripping now. That that shoe would have hit me. I would have whooped your mother ass. Now, so come back over here. Sit down. You ain't gonna let nobody trick you. Quit talking like you ain't got no sense. You got a big ass vocabulary. That ain't begin to start when you start. Why are you defending her attacking I'm defending you. And what the f you got going on? The reason I love Kendra the way I love Kendra because she's unlike any other woman I've ever dated before. To see her let Carly get up under her skin, you never let nobody see you sweat, especially not Carly. Her man ain't even here with her right now. Misery loves a little company. Hey, man, I could be good. I'm good. I don't give a f whichever way. Wait, Jock, Jock. Yeah, come on, y'all. Come on, Jock. Come on, Jock. Y'all let me know why I'm not in a relationship again. Thank y'all. <laughs> <laughs> But you silly.
me too. Yeah, what the <laughs> f is you doing? Why you know we in Trinidad? Don't I come in here playing. Hey man, y'all know, you know y'all know it. I it? locked the door. No, bro, it <laughs> just opened. I pushed it right open. <laughs> I just <laughs> said something <laughs> wrong with you. <laughs> How you gonna run in here and roll to my free? You know what I'm saying? Y'all kissing? I know. Hey, y'all kiss. Bro, I just walked in. She's like, <laughs> Kurt, that's your, that's your sense of face. Nah, this is the. What do you uh, want? I want to see what y'all think. Cause I know y'all can be a little bougie at times. Oh, so whatever. I'm, say, I'm, just, I'm just saying, I'm saying, I'm just saying, I'm just saying, I know y'all can too. Why we gotta be bougie? So this, oh, that's fire. Pretty. That's, I, I went ahead that's and- That's gorgeous. Yeah, three carrots and a stone. She gonna like that. Oh, she is gonna be super awesome. happy. When you gonna ask her? You gonna do it here? I really want to try to be doing all this around Cardi and all that, you know? I am definitely ready to put a ring on Kendra Finger, man, so nobody else got to look at my meat to know that she's mine. But this isn't quite the most romantic time with all my closest friends and my ex here. It is uncomfortable, and I'm sure for Kendra, it's, that's that's probably not ideal, you know what I'm saying? Even the stuff that's going on, kind of like the back and forth with her and Shekana and all that type of stuff, Tokyo. it's just Tokyo, it's just like, everything is just so much extra. I'm gonna go talk to her, because if we all finna go to dinner, I don't want no drama, I don't want no cabin, read, do over, none of that I just want us to be on the up and up. All right. Shekana can do good messy. Come on, girl. Oh, this is so nice. Look at the people out here sitting and stuff. See the little lady? Hey, it's a cute little situation going on. Girl. Girl. Hey. Bitch. Bitch, what? Girl, I feel like I just seen a ghost. Hey, brother, how you doing? Good, what you so doing here? I, mean, I didn't know you was coming to the damn party, too. Up for a good party. Kendra, I'm sorry. I did not know who was going to be here. What you apologizing for? Because I, I, I definitely know. wouldn't have came. Because I, I wasn't quite what you ready. Mean you wouldn't have came? Because I wasn't quite ready to see you. What you mean? Kendra, look. You know what's going on. I know, but why is that going on? Why, why that got to keep going know. on? We in this situation because of your doing. Your indiscretions, your past. Every day when you're not there with me, I'm further away from my goals, my dreams, my desires, my wants, all that. People don't see what's going on. Everybody here is behind masks, and they behind masks for a reason, you know what I'm saying? That's exactly how I feel, and that's why I gotta be in here wearing a mask, so people can't tell that I'm safe. So, excuse me, y'all. Y'all may not know who this lady is, but I know who she is. If everybody would just take off their mask and just give me their blessing at this moment, I would really, really appreciate it. Kendra. Yeah, you know how they faces. are still swirling around in my head about the things I've heard. But after listening to him lay it all out on the line and tell me I'm the only one he wants to be with and he's proven it by giving me this ring, I'm able to understand that Jocelyn is for me and that he's ready to be my husband. He's ready to take that big leap. You sure that's what you want to do forever, Jocelyn? Definitely sure this is what I want to do. Now look, I know it's been a lot of accusations, a lot of bullshit. A lot of, a lot of rumors. Only thing I care about right now 
is my future plus Kendra equaling my forever happiness. Everybody like, yo, you, may, you need to do the right thing, man. You love that woman, you got a good one. Go after your heart, and that's what I did. That's why we here today. You just gotta understand what all this stuff going on and people saying this and people saying that. You know what I mean? Like it just... They say what they want to say. I'm for you. God made you for me. All the other <laughs> I don't care nothing about it. I didn't want. I don't want to play no more. I mean that. So I want you to be Miss Rivers. I want you to be Mrs. Rivers. Okay. Real talk. I feel a lot of sincerity from Jocelyn right now, and I do believe that he has intent on building a future and forever with me. And that's all I ever wanted. So now I feel like I can dismiss these rumors and be with my man, the man that I love. I'm so proud of you right now at this moment. You know what I'm saying? Like, who'd have even thought that Jack would be married right now? He found a soulmate. So we're going to toast to Jack and his beautiful bride. Congratulations. Hey! understand why she is feeling the way she's Yes, I can. Yes, we are human. And I understand. When I first started dealing with Carly, I was very skeptical. That first three months, it was cool. But it was a point when Carly became physically abusive to me. And that's what... Physically I, abusive? Yeah, and that's, I ain't with that shit. My finger... The, the, the same finger that's, that she sucked on TV, this finger fractured. That's I right. I did it. She's standing over me on the bed, holding my phone. Yep. She was like, who is this bitch? And I was like... I sure did. I was like, Carly, what you doing? Why, why you standing over me like this? <laughs> <laughs> she was like, you think I'm stupid? I seen everything. I know everything. I went through your whole phone. And I was like, Carly, what are you doing? I'm like, man, get off me. She was like, I ain't going nowhere. <laughs> I'm like, dude, I ain't going nowhere. <laughs> and she threw the <laughs> So when I tried to get off the bed, Carly just ran and just jumped off the bed like this. <laughs> man, so we on the floor like this. Stop playing. Uh, Stop playing. Oh, my God, I can't. <laughs> But I snatched the phone. Hey, okay, I tried to go back to the bed. She grabbed my That's finger. Right. If you my man, I'm gonna go hard for you. Was in my hand. She grabbed, <laughs> she grabbed my finger. And I'm like, Carly. I'm like, damn, she's strong as a motherfucker. This shit, dude. And that shit, I let that shit go. And it ain't been right. And then, and oh. then after that, literally, as I'm throwing him out, he's like, please don't kick, don't kick me out. Don't, he didn't want to leave. He didn't want to leave. And guess what happened? We had sex. Wow. Oh, what a life. Uh -huh. Jock, you shared some very explicit details about your sex life with Carly. Who knew Miss Carly Red was such a freak in the bed? Everybody. Take a look. This is no bullshit. The second time we had sex, she used her feet. She was like this on me, bro. Hey. But I never oh. experienced that, you know what I'm saying? Me neither. She, she was a hands and feet. I a lot of things. She like said it in this style, hands and feet, like she was setting up the hookah. Wow. He's still thinking about me. Yeah. <laughs> He's still thinking about it. <laughs> like, Carly, you got a lot of little tricks going on with yeah, you. Oh, yes. I really, really love Jock. Loved. Past tense. I was going hard for this man. You know what I mean? And I never did sh like that with Benzino. But when you love somebody like that, you go through your fights, you go through your, you know, you let all the sh cats out the bag, all the sex toys, and, and all the, you know. So, <laughs> so Jacques, was Carly the freakiest woman you've ever been with? Carly liked the <laughs> <my Yeah. laughs> Oh, wow. It tickled, it make your toe curl and <laughs> Yeah. But, uh... <laughs> Scrappy, is that a bit much for you? Have you I mean, like, scrappy? Are they scrambling your eggs that way? Your eggs not in? Jocelyn, let me ask you a question. Uh -huh. What do you think it is about Jock that makes these women really so fired up and wanting to put up with his cheating behavior? I don't know. He probably got good <laughs> like my husband. I know that. have something that I think you may want to clap back on because at the After Party Live, Jock said that you set him up and here's what he had to say. <laughs> Tina, I, I really felt like she put something in my drink. You know, I was like, no, nah, I don't want that, Sam. Because <laughs> she was like, you, you don't drink? I was like, no, well, I'm good. Okay. Well, see, y'all didn't see that, though. Did you spike Jock straight? Do I really need to answer that question? What? Like, Hell yeah. Oh, 
like, there's no way I should have been sucking your toe on national TV <laughs> off one and a half drinks. That tells you that we have chemistry, so it takes nothing She's for trying Doc to say to she put a chemistry, a uh, chemical <laughs> in my drink. Katie, you pretended to work for Jock while you were really hooking up with him behind Carly's back. Exactly. Oh, no, 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 no. Okay, well, you I'm were... not gonna agree to that. Really? Yes. Let me, let me yes. clear. This girl needs a storyline so bad, she will say Honey, anything. baby, let me tell you something. There's a tell reason me. No, why let me, I'm sitting let me on the couch no, right Don't now. try me, baby. I was okay. really right. But guess what? Right. You're sitting on the motherfucking couch because of me. KD, <laughs> let me ask you this. What you don't know what is that know. every five seconds, Doc is always like, can I f you? He was just sitting on the stage just now. You gonna f me tonight? You gonna, and you damn gonna lie? Carly. Carly. I got, no. Come on now. Come on now. Come on now. At the wedding, he was trying to get in the panties. At the wedding, he was trying to get with me. Because you lying. No, everything come out your mouth is a motherfucking lie. All right, let me ask you. Since Josh told you today, John had a sit down with you, and he said he was in an exclusive relationship with KD. Since he did that, have you slept with him? I can't stand a fucking liar. Yes. Is that true, Jock? No, she didn't even see me. Jock, don't make me go there. He ain't nothing but a little Don't city. make me go yeah. there, Jock. Okay, you know what? I did not expect this to go like this today. Oh, okay. We're gonna keep moving, all right? Carly, let me ask you this. We know you're the resident Atlanta <laughs> detective, but why get involved in Jock's business if you're really done with him? <clears throat> First of all, I did not tell Cena to come up in my shop and ask me to help her with her situation. Yeah, but you kind of hashed a plan, though. Uh, no, we hashed it together. Okay. We did it together. All right. You know, I was just like, damn, I just felt like that was weak as hell, Cena. We got kids together. How you gonna go get involved with an uh, ex, a ragged ass ex of mine and that? You know what I'm saying? Guess what? Raggedy got the a jumping bitch. Charlie. He keeps lying to you. Dead ass. Katie, let me ask you. I see that you're visibly upset. What is the status of your relationship right now? We're together. Okay. You guys are in a committed relationship. Stop. You wanna answer that? We good. Oh, you see me sitting right here next to. Okay. We can't end with you two. I mean, it just goes on and on. So, Jock. Carly said that she missed you this season. Did you miss her company as well? All right, so I got to say this, man, because I was put in a weird position, man. Okay. Every time I see Carly, hey, Carly, how you doing? Mm. Take your funky ass outside. You're like, damn. <laughs> so we go on this trip, and all of a sudden, I'm there to witness they fall out, like, instantly. She's like, well, I'm done with this shit. What's up, Jock? I'm like, no, nah, don't do me like that. <laughs> Rashida, because this was your idea to go to the ranch. Who do you think was flirting with who in Houston? Was it Carly flirting with Jock or Jock flirting with Carly? To be honest with you, I really don't think they have anything going on. Mm -hmm. I just think it's just that little play play after we done smashed and we done with each other, but when we see each other, okay, cool. It's pl more I'm playful. I'm gonna just keep it real with you. Okay, please. So. Okay, I ain't gonna tell it. What? what? <laughs> Did something happen off camera that we're not aware about? No, I ain't gonna about? tell it. It's cool. He gave me the, huh, I ain't gonna tell it. Now, I'm gonna keep it 100. Okay, please. Carly tried to do something on the side of the building. I, I just, we just, I, I, I told him. On the side of the building? I told him this way. <laughs> yeah, I tried 
to do something on the side. I'm not. Well, see, we had what a, happened? Come on, now what happened? Just use your imagination. Because Carly came back buttoning up her <laughs> pants and all type of crazy. Well, Jock shook his head yes, so. You shook your head what? All right. No. You shook your head yes. You know what? <laughs> it's to be continued with you two, so. Please. You guys keep us posted on where this thing goes. All right, Jock, let me start with you. I'm hearing that you are actually getting a little bit more civic-minded lately, and you might have your eye on some local politics. I'm kind of naturally a politician. I, I kind of <laughs> find myself dibbling and dabbling uh -huh. here and there. Every politician needs a strong ad campaign, so we've put something together to get you started. Introducing the People's Candidate. Ladies and gentlemen, if I can, I would like to give a little speech. I had a dream that one day, all of these seats will be filled with beautiful women who need to get their hair done. Jaseel Robinson, better known as Young Jock. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Star of Love and Hip Hop Atlanta. Hey. Successful musician. I'm a likable dude. And most importantly, social justice warrior. Yeah, you're wrong with Jock, make some noise. Jaseel spends his days making neighborhoods safer. I ain't want none of y'all to go to jail tonight, I right? Building the local economy. Let's open a business. Uh, working on the advancement of women's rights. Is this work? Yeah. <laughs> mm -hmm. He's a pioneer of the modern American family. My kids are my priority one. Definitely. Mm -hmm. Not the kids' mothers, okay? And he needs your votes. Hats off to me. You know what I'm saying? Because I'm the winner of this race and this thing called life. This message has been approved by Young Jock for a better Atlanta. What's up? I won. Okay, I gotta, I gotta ask our beautiful audience, would you guys vote for Jock? I won. I won. Got my vote, Got too. My vote. Jock, you have my vote. I appreciate okay, that. Okay, now let's get back to business. Uh-oh. This season, a love-struck Jock was ready to settle down with his new boo, Kendra, and focus on building a future together. But before popping the question first, he'd have to contend with the ghosts of girlfriends past. Here's a look. So how long you and um, Jock been dating? Two years. Wow. <laughs> it's just kind of weird because just last year when we was at the cabins, Jock and Carly was, was like... Messing around. On the way up here on the bus trip, a lot of stuff came out that you was with Carly last year. Is she lying or she telling the truth? Of course she is lying. Look what I got. You finna get on your knees now, he? I'm finna surprise her and everybody. Yeah, so what's really going on with y'all? He shows favoritism to these stylists. I'm saying, do these girls and him have something going on? I mean, it's just certain things he be doing that just don't be appropriate when you got a girl. It's a rumor going around that Jock is messing with Sharonda, apparently, messing with what? multiple Sharonda. If you love me the way you do, I feel like you will give me my time. Right now, I gotta go. Ah! Yeah. <laughs> Jock spent. This is this is crazy. All right, Jock. How long have you and Kendra been dating? Right now we've been rocking before the first. How long you been rocking, man? About three years. Okay. From the time I met him, from up to today, I've not spent much time apart from him. Okay. So call it what you want to call it, but it don't even matter now because I got a ring. Yes, bitch, you got a ring. I watched the season last season, and there was definitely like a flirtation at the ranch. Did you feel okay with the interactions that Jock and Carly were having? Wait, wait, wait. Wait, wait, wait. You should have shut what, it down. What, 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 see, what, what, what happened? <laughs> what, what, what? Everyone knows here that Jock told me nothing about a relationship that he was in with Kendra. Because if he would have told me, I would have respected his situation. I love you, Kendra, and I want you for Jock. And you know our relationship is real. Man, what the hell going on? Hold up, this is collusion here. <laughs> I knew before God. Hey, no, nah, don't The God. Holy Ghost. Did y'all have sex at the ranch? Yes or no? Were you inappropriate at the ranch? Yes or no? Jesus. Oh my no. kid. Oh my mama and my hood. Oh, my hell no. Nothing ever happened Good. on the Houston trip. Oh, my mama. But, 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 the lies about the four years, 
He was with me. Don't he matter. He was with Cena, and it don't matter. All that matters is that you and him are together right now. Jock, you <sighs> popped up as well. Yeah, I started off to pop up. So you were kind of the wingman? Yeah, but then as soon as I get, I get the drama because I'm popping up with my interns. You, you know, I've, I've had internships in college. <clears throat> I've never gone to Jamaica with my boss. Is that <laughs> normal? Ain't nobody taking an intern to a romantic getaway. But it is strange to It wasn't a romantic getaway for me, though. With your boss in Jamaica. It wasn't a romantic getaway for me. OK, but clear it up, too, because me and Jock are also friends. I got the internship because we are friends before that. Did you have an ulterior motive to take Treasure with you to Jamaica? No, I just no. Kinda, Mashing. I just knew Carly was gonna be there. What does Treasure have to do with Carly? Because <laughs> I, I knew, I knew the initial. Good. <laughs> What's she say? Oh, I agree. It is. It is. <laughs> I, you know, I just think you, you know. <laughs> and nothing happened in Jamaica with you two. Whoa. You said what? With you and Treasure. You said what? Did anything happen between Hell two? Hell no, you? nothing happened. You said so yeah. Why you was mad in what the happened? room when we when we was all talking? She left the room, did she not? Yeah, I did leave the room, and that's Wait, that's crazy. You said no, you Jock was like, said oh, y'all yeah. together for real? I get to know that these girls in Atlanta are a little hostile. They they got some chips on their show. They just mad. Like I don't know. Bitch, hostile for what, bitch? I'm not hostile for what? Why are you anywhere, so we're just gonna move forward. What about Carly and Jock? Did anything happen between you guys in Jamaica? Wow, what was the pause? <laughs> Wait a minute! What was the pause? <laughs> wow! So you didn't know? You didn't know anything happened at the time, Doc? No, no. You, you guys didn't know? You was around? <laughs> yeah, we came to your room. She was up there, me and Mimi, we all talking, y'all reminiscing, telling us about y'all old times. And we all left. And we, Cause I left with you. Yeah, and unless I, you so double back. Y'all all, 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 all You double back? back. Y'all, did y'all do it? Nah. We had jerk chicken together. <laughs> <laughs> we know how to speak jock language at this point, so we understand what happened. Well, I'm glad that you guys had a good time in Jamaica and you guys are on a good page now. turned over the leaf in my life, you know what I'm saying? After many failed relationships and an assortment of women bringing different messages to my life, hey man, I have finally come of age. Ladies and gentlemen, I finally found me the perfect woman to be by my side. Good morning. Oh, what's all this? What you got on? You know, I got to work today, baby. It's Saturday, but I still got cases. I got called in to trial on Wednesday. Yes, boys and girls. Kendra is a real woman. She is a criminal and immigration attorney on her way to becoming a judge. Man, Kendra's so legit, she done helped me level up and grow up. Mm. Ooh, ooh, your breath tastes like Hennessy. Oh. Mm. I probably would have a little more fun if he was there, but. Well, it would have been good to get an invite. I think I just be looking, I be trying to protect you from everything. Your whole integrity as an attorney, you know what I'm saying? I, I just don't be wanting the, the extra, baby. I met Kendra about four years ago. When I met her, I'm gonna keep it 100. I was a complete savage, you know what I'm saying? But those days are behind me, man, because for the last two years, I've been totally exclusive with Kay. Listen, I, I think I have the perfect event that I think we should attend. I, what is that? Stumbled across this in there when I was looking for it. Oh, it's an engagement party. <laughs> you know what it is. And I kind of feel like you was trying to hide it. I was. I'm trying to hide it from myself. What are you trying to hide? Because I feel like if you love me the way that you say you do, it shouldn't be a problem. Like, you should be able to go to a party that your ex threw. You got an invitation. Let's go. Do you really think you ready for this? Me and you just... Like, hey, oh, that's Kendra right there. That's Jocelyn. Jocelyn, right right I'm as ready as I'm gonna get. I can't get no more ready for it. The time is now. 
All I'm saying is that, you know, I feel like we've been together for some time. We are building an empire together, you know. We bought a house. We have businesses together and stuff. Let's let the world know who we are. We should be public out into the world. The world thinks that you're a single man. I know the Kendra wants to go to Carly's engagement party, but the fact that she want to go so bad got me a little nervous. I'm definitely a changed man from who I used to be, man. And I just think we should leave the past in the past. So I really feel like we should just leave Carly and her party right where it's at. And why well, I got to go to work, sweetheart? I love you. You gonna keep an open mind? Give me my love was open. I love you, too. Yeah. Bye. All right, you're good, folks. That's a nice suit, by the way. Thank you, baby. It's new. Look at this one with the beads on it. Yeah, you gotta be careful, because I saw on the invitation. Where they have your party at? There's a lot of electrical lines. <laughs> and with them bees, I don't want to shock the You're so I'm not convinced that this is the right way to properly introduce Kendra to the rest of the world. But what I am convinced about is she is not going to have it no other way. So here we go. Babe, I don't know what's going on. What? What you talking about? I feel like I just came down with that 72-hour flu. Supposed to last three days. Why are you so nervous? I, I ain't nervous. What's the issue? What's... Ain't no issue. I just don't think, like, we should go. The whole history of me and Carly, man, you know, her inviting us to that, I don't know if it's in good faith. Well, it don't matter. That's in the past. She's moving on. You have moved on. We already RSVP. We going to the engagement party. Why are you so pressed on going to this party? You, you frustrate me when you do that. You frustrate me when you commit to something and then you, you make it an excuse you don't want to go. What are you hiding? Like, seriously, is somebody going to jump out and pull me to the side and tell, like, you know, fill me in on something I don't know? I want to go to Carly's engagement party for a lot of reasons. One of them being, I feel like, I want to see if it's a reason why he's kept me hidden because him not wanting to go has made me very suspicious. Look, you deserve the absolute truth. I thought I already had the truth. Just listen to me. When me and you first met, you know what I'm saying? There were moments where our relationship overlapped Carly and my interaction. What you mean, interaction? Like, y'all I mean, it was, it was moments where, you know, so we still communicated. You got to think, you and I was just friends for a long don't time. Matter. The fact that you just now telling me that there was overlap in our but relationship. But it was like overlap, and, like and, and, and I'm out to dinner with you and You know what? Going it it don't her. matter though, but there's something you still should have told me, and there's something that still could rear his head at a later moment. Overlap? Like, what is he talking about? I know that Jocelyn was on a trip with his friends last year in Houston, and I also know that Carly was there. Jocelyn always told me it was him and a bunch of friends together and that nothing happened. But I do feel like I have to get all the facts before I completely go in. I just wish that you would have told me, Jocelyn. That's all I'm saying. I just wish you so wouldn't be so pressed about going to this party so neither one of us can look stupid. Why can't we go? If you know that that's what I like to do, if you know I want to get out and, and be out and about with you and be, you know, Baby. loving and affectionate with you in public, then why not do that? I do my part to make sure you're happy, make sure you feel loved. I do not ask you for much, and I feel like part of your love and, and affection towards me, outwardly display of that would be us going out and having a good time. Something is beginning to tell me I really can't win too many arguments with this woman. I mean, she is an attorney. All I can do is nod my head and hope this does not turn into a complete disaster. Kendra, baby, let me tell you something. If this was Mortal Kombat, you just two-piece me, hit me with a combo, and finish me. In two seconds, you just made me realize, you know what, you are. Right. And in all actuality, if that's all you want to be happy, I'm willing to go. I'm gonna, I'm gonna give my woman what she want. Thank you. Shout out to young Jock in the building. We see you, baby. Who that girl is with Jack? <laughs> well, well, well. All the magical creatures have come to the surface tonight, baby. <laughs> First, we meet Carly's fiance. Now, my boy Jock pops up with his new boo, and I don't think anybody's seen her. Hell, what's next? Unicorns and leprechauns? Hell, I don't know. What's up, y'all? How y'all doing? Yeah, how you doing? Doing pretty good. Carly, 
Thank y'all for coming. I was kind of trying to figure out, do I want to, you know, but I said to myself, you know, get them out well with you. That's what I was telling them, like, it's nothing there. It's like, you know, we're like family now. I mean, that's a stretch, but I mean, <laughs> I think that, I'm saying, like, brothers and sisters, like. In real life, man, I'm happy. We're going to let y'all be, though, all right? Good luck to y'all. All right, fam. Jock's girlfriend is cute or whatever. For you, Jock, go on and get yourself a boring chick. He must have been tired of all the Tatianas. Yeah, I told you. I'm good. We cool. Brothers and sisters. Brothers and sisters. You gonna show us the I move? Got plenty the, of uh, What's that to move, Jock? You was talking about one time on the radio. Cardi had a special move. It was like some. It was the Indian. I want to see but the I Indian have... give a trick yeah. that you was talking about on the radio. Jock. Kurt. Come on, Kurt, man. You already know I'm skating on thin ice with Kendra ever since we jumped out the sprint and hit the cabin. And now you want to bring us an old sescapade with me and Carly? Can I, can I gonna... have a minute with my man for a minute oh. in our room? We gonna excuse ourselves. You might need some toys to go. Come on. Just a f pump. Come and then on. Jock, you need the long we'll be back. I know how you do. <laughs> yeah. that, anyway. That's crossing boundaries. Come on. I have Carly. toys for everyone. Carly. And... Carly, that was a lot. I teaching a class right now. You felt like you just had to pull me away from everybody? I did, because I feel like we needed to talk. On the way up here, on the bus trip, a lot of stuff came out. What do you mean stuff came out? That you was with Carly last year. That y'all went to a cabin and rented a cabin together or whenever you was on a trip. Now, I know the car is just trying to spread misery. I mean, because, th like, there's no truth to this, and I'm really annoyed for the simple fact that now I got to convince Kendra that I'm, like, an innocent man. Well, that ain't I'll no truth. Sure that's not like, that's matter. not like me and her. You should never be in a room, according to her, with your genitals out, ready to have sex, and she declined. Like me, never met nobody on that trip. Why would she just say that? Because okay. misery loves All right, company. Then. Of course she is lying. Okay, Are you well, serious? Perfect. That's all I want to know. Kendra, it's all false. Yes, These are lies. I put this on my mama. Okay. I put this on my kids. And I put this on your father, rest his soul. Your name been tattooed on, on, on my genital for over a year now. She ain't see your name on it. She ain't seen it. I wanted to go so overboard to show my lady this was hers. I tattooed Kendra on my Carly, if you saw my you just saw it said, Kendra, right down the side of it. You know what I'm saying? I really don't know how to apologize for something I haven't done, but I apologize that you were even placed in that situation. Me and Carly, that was old news. Have you been true to me? Kendra, I have been true, and I've been honest with you, baby. I'll take you know, you know how you make, you know, you know the happy you bring me. I know. I'm just letting you know I'm not playing with me. I'm not playing with you. I just don't want no problems. We, me and you, we, we better than that, Kendra. Even though me and Kendra went at each other next by the end of that cabin trip from hell, man, I still got to put some work to get back to where we were before we went into the woods. Mm -hmm. What's up? Mm -hmm. I'm going this lunch. I appreciate that. I'm hungry. Do you? I just really felt like I want to just do something special for you. I'm out of this lunch in a paper bag, but the whole cabin trip, that was extra. That, that wasn't it. Then it put me and you in a... A weird space, you know what I'm saying? I so. agree, but I'm over that. Like, I'm not phased by nothing that went on, really. We left it there, we talked about it. I'm good. So, I heard you and Spice on the radio. Good. And I heard y'all talking about Trinidad. Oh, yeah. Why you ain't tell me about that? Okay, let me be honest with you. I'm a little apprehensive. You know, because of the whole Why? cabin trip. Because, man, Carly is gone and all that. And, you know, Carly from Trinidad. Unfazed by that. I'm a grown woman, she a grown woman. We grown folks. So we'll be all right. I feel like the cabin trip was not a good representation of who I am to Jocelyn's friends. I want to be in the sun, relaxing, reconnecting with my man. And I want to show his friends that I'm generally not in the middle of mess. I'm ready to actually step away from work, go somewhere where we can kick it, chill, have a good time. I would like to go, and I would hope that you would want me to go. I mean, yeah, 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 we can go. OK. 
I get it. I'm never gonna win an argument with this woman, so I'ma just stop trying. I was only thinking of Kendra when I said I wasn't going to Trinidad. But hell, Spice said we could bring a plus one. So if Kendra wants to get away and have fun, hey man, maybe Trinidad is the do-over that we need after that cabin trip. Come on, what's going on in my office? What? We should I'm go just in saying, office. what's going on in my office? Ain't nobody, don't nobody come to your office, do they? No, I don't want nobody coming here. I need you to hang my degrees up. OK. Hey, let me ask you a question. Hmm? Is the uh, okay. wall in your office thing? Can the people next door to you, too? I don't have anybody next door. It's on the corner. <laughs> Me. I know that this is a party and we're supposed to be having fun and turning up, but none of that includes my man pouring a drink down Pooh's ass. He has all these women around him and I'm standing right here. Hey! Hey! Oh, we need to talk. These are the things that I always have to tell him about when I always preach to him. Perception, perception, perception. It is completely disrespectful. <laughs> I'm drinking. You was responsible for drinking that drink. So you responsible for what happened after you drink it. You don't get no pass when you drunk. It's true. I may not be completely sober at the moment, but look here, that look in Kendra's eyes sobered me up enough to remember that she's not the only one with problems in this relationship. You 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 wanna spend your life with me, but you wanna tell people you not you don't wanna have kids with me. That, oh, Wait, where did that come from? Oh, oh, oh. Uh, that was for real though? That's what I was that's, saying. That's what we are. It's just that, you know, you know, you telling somebody something that you haven't even told me. I'm not saying that I necessarily want to have kids right now, but how you gonna go tell Bambi you don't want to have kids at all? We talking about marriage. Well, we've talked about marriage. We've talked about it, and I feel like we're but so feel. close. And then, but then, now you don't want to have kids. And then we have an argument about me pouring drinks on women. Hey, this an and argument. You not wanting to have kids. It's kind of like even hey, right now. Nothing is even right now. There's no way I'm going to sit here and continue to have a conversation with Jocelyn with him being as drunk as he is because we're not going to get anywhere. Why are you leaving though? I'm gone because. So you can't even get out. God Whatever. don't want you to leave. baby mamas get along and I think that is very important and I just I commend them all. Even though I'm not one of the mothers I still like getting together with them because they keep it super real. So how you being Alex? How you being Cena? How y'all been doing? Really good. Right. What's going on with you? We've been on some trips and stuff so I've been getting a little break from work but it's been drama. Some of his friends was there the whole like little ensemble crew including his ex you know. Hello Paulie. Yeah. Allegations running wild all over the place. You know, when the past meet the present, it's not always nice. And, you know, we had some little conversations. We talked about it, and I laid down the law as I see it through my eyes. And he said he could adhere to it, so, I mean, we're going to see. You looking to be Mrs. Robinson. Yeah. You're going to have to really be able to deal with some gut punches that's going to try to come your way. I actually like Kendra. I just don't think that Jock is worthy of everything that Kendra has to offer him. But if this girl is sitting here thinking that she's going to have a future with Jock, I definitely feel like it's a few things that I need to let her know. You know, I'm outside and I keep my ear to the street about a lot of things. Let us pray. It's a rumor going around that that's the reason why there's so many issues at the salon is because Jock is flirting and Messing with Sharonda, apparently. Messing with what? multiple stylists in the studio. I'm just a messenger. I just felt like that you should know because that's some deep It's too many rumors going around for it all to be a lie. And with all people, Sharonda, are you freaking kidding me? Now it makes all the sense in the world why Sharonda acts the way she acts towards me with her bald-headed ass. She's an adulterer, too, obviously. Hey, this is my is playing. Like, let me tell you, like, he's really playing with me, like, and I just really can't play like that. Yeah. So what you gonna do? I'm getting ready to go. My ride is outside right now. Oh. Is he your ride? Yeah. Oh, he, Lord. He my ride, so I'm getting ready to go talk to him. Right when I thought all this garbage was over with, these rumors of infidelity from Jocelyn keep coming up over and over again. I will not be the fool that will stand here and just let this happen. 
We need to talk. What's wrong with you? We need to talk. Come on. What we, we need, we need to talk, Jocelyn. What, what's wrong? I just talked to Cena and there, Cena and Alex. And what Cena told me, that I'm not with that. What, what's you going got on? a lot. No, nah, ain't no what's going on. You messing with the girls in the salon. You, you having sex with them, Sharonda. Hold on. Talk. Nah, that's what Cena just told me, Jocelyn. This is the 15th, umpteenth time. So you gonna keep listening to volunteers? There's too, too many people coming up and telling me the same thing. Now, here I am coming to pick Kendra up from a visit with Cena, Alex, and the kids. Now, right off the rip, she hit me, pop, 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 with some shit about me being unfaithful. Like, come on, baby, we done been through this. You have humiliated me for the last time. You're not ready to be in the type of relationship I'm ready to be in. So, do whatever, but I'm done right now, Jocelyn. You're a liar. I don't like liars. I'm not gonna say but it don't matter. You don't have to like I'm it, but that's what it is. This. Shekana can do good messy. Come on, girl. Oh, this is so nice. Look at the people out here sitting and stuff. See the little lady? Hey, it's a cute little situation going on. Girl, girl. Bitch. Bitch, what? Girl, I feel like I just seen a ghost. Hey, brother, how you doing? Good, what you sir. doing here? I, mean, I didn't know you was coming to the damn party, I too. Up for a good party. Kendra, I'm sorry. I did not know who was going to be here. What you apologizing for? Because I, I, I definitely know. wouldn't have came. Because I, I wasn't quite ready. What you ready mean you wouldn't have came? Because I wasn't quite ready to see you. What you mean? Kendra, look. I don't know what's going on. I know, but... Why is that going on? Why, why that gotta keep going know. on? We in this situation because of your doing. Your indiscretion, your past. Every day when you not there with me, I'm further away from my goals, my dreams, my desires, my wants, all that. People don't see what's going on. Everybody here is behind masks, and they behind masks for a reason, you know what I'm saying? That's exactly how I feel, and that's why I gotta be in here wearing a mask so people can't tell that I'm saying. So, excuse me, y'all. Y'all may not know who this lady is, but I know who she is. If everybody would just take off their mask and just give me their blessing at this moment, I would really, really appreciate it. Kendra. faces. still swirling around in my head about the things I've heard. But after listening to him lay it all out on the line and tell me I'm the only one he wants to be with and he's proven it by giving me this ring, I'm able to understand that Jocelyn is for me and that he's ready to be my husband. He's ready to take that big leap. You sure that's what you want to do forever, Jocelyn? Definitely sure this is what I want to do. No, look, I know it's been a lot of accusations, a lot of bull, a lot of, a lot of rumors. Only thing I care about right now is my future plus Kendra equaling my forever happiness. Everybody like, yo, you, make, you need to do the right thing, man. You love that woman, you got a good one. Go after your heart, and that's what I did. That's why we here today. Yeah. You just gotta understand what all this stuff going on and people saying this and people saying that. You know what I mean? Like it just... They say what they want to say. I'm for you. God made you for me. All the other <laughs> I don't care nothing about it. I didn't want I don't want to play no more. I mean that. 
Robinson. I don't want you to be Miss Robinson. I want you to be Mrs. Robinson. Okay? My brother, listen. I need a DJ. What's up, world? It's your favorite cousin, Young J-O-C. And me and my fiance, Kendra, are finally planning our wedding after being engaged for like, what, two years? You might be my favorite song. Turn you up when it's come on. You gave your life for me. Let me give you all the glory. She definitely held me down no matter what. Our original plans was to have a destination wedding in St. Lucia, right? But... Once COVID hit and all the damn variants, like, it's just been hard trying to schedule. So this is like the third and then hopefully the final time, you know what I'm saying? You know, maybe we can get it right now, you know what I mean? Here I am about to get married and none of my is together. Nothing is together. Jocelyn and the grooms and still don't have their suits and I do not have my wedding dress. What's up? <sighs> I'm not trying to get everything together. You can't wear the same dress in St. Lucia that you wear in Atlanta. So now that we finally switched the venue and got everything in order, it is a race to the finish line. I'm so ready to get there. I'm stressed out. Kind of like the venue changed a little bit. Ooh, I mean, a little bit, a lot of bit. A lot of bit. First and foremost, I don't know about planning a wedding. And then with the guest list, we were expecting about 100 and... No, it's supposed to be 75 people. And being three weeks away, Everything is thrice the price. I want the girls to be flower girls, so I invited Cena. Here's the thing. I mean, I didn't have her telephone number, so I sent her a message on Instagram, but she's not replied back yet. I don't even think she's read the message. Why did Kendra send Cena a DM? Like, I'm somebody you don't know. Cena and I share beautiful twin girls eating on the lawn. She and I usually on great terms, but lately things have been a little different. I have definitely been stressing out. I've been doing everything I can to pay for this, and it's caused me to spend less time with my family. And communication has slipped a little, and I feel terrible about that. And now let me tell you something. I didn't, uh, I did not invite Carly. Why would we invite Carly to my wedding? I know Kendra and Carly got to the point where they could stomach each other. One time, Carly threw her shoe at Kendra. It used to be crazy, but they good now. That don't mean Carly's supposed to be invited to our wedding. This is the same woman who just made my life a living hell at times, you know? She's always accusing me of something. You know how I get when she gets single. She just, <laughs> she just be trying to figure out a little way to come back. I'm just doing all this stuff together because I'm if I have a breakdown. What you gonna break down for? It's a lot. I'm stressed out. Who picked the day out for the wedding? You picked. October 24th, because it wasn't on no retrograde. That's why I did that. When you get married during retrograde, you it won't you keep last. On to me about a retrograde. It won't last. Y'all see laughs about it, but listen, if you do things during a Mercury retrograde, it's pretty much going to fail. It's like she checked the horoscope and I've lost 100000 for real. Like, it's... Yo, <laughs> after this... Don't ask me to renew no vows or no other kind of ceremony. <laughs> <laughs> you know. As I'm walking down the aisle, I'm trying to stop from crying. I'm trying not to ruin my makeup. I'm trying not to make him cry. But this is a very special moment for us. I'm so proud of Jocelyn and myself. We have overcome so many obstacles to get to this altar. You know, we've not had a perfect journey, but at the end of the day, we both relied on love, and that's all that matters. Excuse me, yo, yo, excuse, excuse me, I don't want to step on y'all shoe. Cause I seen it call like money, excuse me. Excuse me, yo, you him. Excuse me, everybody, yo, drop my boy, yo, on everything. Oh my God, what the f You sure you want to do this? Like, who is this person?
dressing. And sir, why do you have on a Gucci outfit at my wedding? I was like, we still for the streets. It's a lot to What you doing, girl? Yo, oh, oh, you show but yeah, I'm yeah. sure. Hey, hey, yo. Why this man talk about you for the streets, y'all? Look at Sierra's. She know all about me. Sierra, you need to tell the bride what the f going on, Sierra. Yo, all this, yo, I'm just letting you know y'all the real one, because this is a lot of He ain't have to do this. Boy, you better bounce. Congratulations, Kendra, on everything. I'm a Paul. <laughs> If this is some type of joke that Jocelyn was playing on me, I still don't think that it's appropriate. Like, this is a wedding. This is not a comedy show, okay? This is not happening today. You good, yo? I just had to keep it real. Don't pull up. Don't, don't do that. Back to the wedding. I, I Jocelyn Robinson. Jocelyn Robinson. Take you. Take you. Kendra Robinson. Kendra Robinson. Until death. Until death. <laughs> Until death. Until death. Do us part. Do us part. <laughs> now you know people gonna talk. Oh, that's a sign. It's a, it must be an omen, because she was trying her best to put that ring, and that ring did not want to go. Yeah. That ring said, he is for the streets. That's what people gonna say, like, you know what I mean? But we got it on. It's on. It pleases me, and it pleases God, to have Dr. Robinson, your brother, pronounce you as husband and wife. It's my honor and privilege by the authority that is given unto me under God and this state to pronounce Jaseel and Kendra husband and wife. You may kiss your bride. The unthinkable has happened, yes. I, Mr. Jaseel Robinson, has said that I do to Mrs. Kendra Robinson. That's a whole nother situation. What's the situation, girl? Because Jock and Kendra are getting married. They sent me the invitation to me to RSVP. VP. But my friend, Mita, mm -hmm. I'm not sure if you met her, right? No. So she and Jock used to date for 13 years. What? At my video shoot yesterday with Yemi, Mita was acting very weird and suspicious, like something, you know, she's not telling me. But earlier today at my photo shoot, mm -mm, baby. She let me get a tea with she and Jock. Every time I ask her, she have this damn smirk on her face. I'm like, what's going on with you and Jock? And Jock about to get married. See, that's what I'm talking about. They well, I was always taught no response is a response. So, what's going on with you and Jock? I have been with Jock for almost 14 years. 14 years, okay? I love Jock. Jock will forever love me, marriage or no marriage. Love you. you love him? I'm not. We're going to have to have a good conversation. I was with Jock. Me and Kendra, I don't know what her timeline is. I know what my timeline is. I don't know what hers is. I asked her, I said, when did you stop messing with Jock? She was like, oh, maybe like two years ago. But how long you been with Kendra? What about her? Oh, see? That's my problem. Jock, what are you going to do? Why are y'all telling me how this man business? Why did I even walk into this? <laughs> you been holding a secret? I just told you. You friend been She and Jock broke up. No, you ain't thought. No, like that. Even I though still, it was up. still closer. They were together two years ago. What was you doing in the That's day? why I'm telling you that I feel like during the engagement, there was some around. Why were you there contradicting yourself? I didn't know. At and the then time. you know the girl Kendra living in Atlanta. I didn't know at the time. I didn't you know. knew you was her best friend, Spy. I did not know. Let's be clear. I had no idea that 13 years ago, before or after I met Mita, she was sleeping with Jock. We have a working friendship relationship. We don't discuss the man that Mita sleep with. Okay. I, I, I need to introduce you to Mita so I can. I don't know if I need to meet. So me. I can pull myself out of it so Mita so can. So now you're being messy. You want me to meet Mita, so I'm in the middle of Kendra and Mita. So 
something like that. Stop this man. Kids are gonna try to kill y'all. Maybe it's not true. We don't know. Your best friend, a grown ass woman, she ain't lying to you about who the up. Is everyone going to the wedding? Yeah, I'm actually one of the bridesmaids. Me. You know them, right? Sierra doesn't know Kendra. It's so phony. Mita, you yes. met Carly, right? Yeah. She used to date Jock, too. For real? Oh, Okay, Mita, we know about Jock. That man is everywhere. I was at his back. What the yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, uh-uh. Jock is not ready to get married. But you were the sacrificial lamb to determine that? Oh, no. no. Why did you do it? Yeah. So, Chino who is Jock's best friend, been Jock's friend forever. He said, Carly, I just need you to come to Jock's bachelor party. It will make it turn up, like, just surprise him. Jock's behavior at the bachelor party, we all know that's Jock. I've been telling Kendra this for years. He got the key to the city because he put his thing in every slot. Don't you remember what I said? It smells like fish. OK, so Mita, let's compare dates. Around the time that you was dating Jock. 2008, 2009, 2010, 2012, 2014, 2016, what? 2018, 2018. What? 2000 what? No, you shut up, I said the same. 2017, 2019, and it goes, you know what I'm saying? So, Wait, is it 2021? I'm comparing dates with Mita. I'm comparing the timeline, because I'm trying to see, like, when did this man have time to do this? I'm a bridesmaid. Is this 2020? What the is going on? 21 has been a little. 19? 20. Yes. 20 for sure. 20 for sure. How the f I'm gonna be in this girl bridesmaid line. 20 for sure. Why the f y'all even have me at this dinner? No, hold a minute, because I thought the night was about me and my album 10 and celebrating my success. We might as well be sister wives at this dinner. Somebody come out with this crazy. This gotta be a joke. Girl named Mita. Mita supposedly likes spices. Friend Mita was telling people like at the pre-wedding that she been a job. Me and Erica Mena walking through Piedmont Park. Hold on, hold on. You and Erica walking through Piedmont. That's the problem. Why no, we, why well, we not talking about that. So you saying that's a side piece or some side action that's going on while I was a bachelor engaged to be married. Then let's address that first. So was you Peter? Whoa. Oh, cuz you bust wide open. Hey. Kendra. Hey. Hi, honey. Hi. Do you care if I? No, I don't care. Like, I want to know what the going on. I'm in the dark. How long you and Jock been together? A long time. A long time. You've oh. never met Mita? I don't, I don't Have you know. seen her around her? I don't, I don't think so, but I know for a fact Jock's been around Mita for some time. A while back, right after me and we had the baby, mm -hmm. Jock had a game night. Mm -hmm. Mita was there. Jock, what hey. up? This is right before the world kind of shut down. Okay, so, so this is like pre-pandemic. Do y'all got her number? Call her. Wait, 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 wait. We need to pipe down for a second. We need to figure out how to without being crazy and weird. Like I can't even believe we even sit here talking about. Nigga, don't say y'all did jumping jacks and shit. No, 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 no. Me and Mita was business, right? I miss Mita. Now I just want to know. What the? And Erica, Mina, you doing? This shit sounds juicier than your shit. She talking about it. Y'all trying to put me in the corner? Okay, so you know what? No, no, no. I'm out of here. Yo, 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 yo. I love you. I love you back. Hey. I'm letting Kendra know what's going on. Sierra. Sierra, we're going to... Speak to Sierra. OK, speak to Sierra. What? Sierra. What? Yes. You know what? Girl, what the f is going on? Yes, so this is the 
the whole situation. The girl came out at Spice Dinner, and she was like, I've been messing with him 2016, 17, 18, 19, 20, and 20, 20, 21, I think. I went back and forth in my head, if should I say something or should I not? Honestly, I thought the bitch was lying. I didn't want to ruin your moment. I did not want to ruin your no moment. It ain't no f***ing moment if this right here living foul. I don't know. Yeah, but this to be fair. No, let me tell you something. You lied to my daddy, you lied to my brother, you lied to my mama, you lied to your mama, your daddy, your children. Why did you marry me? Why did you marry me? Jocelyn, I need some answers is what I need. I'm not even here. This middle lady said she was with you in 2016, 17, 18, 19, 20, and 21. Sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, and, and this year, cause she stood up at Spice's birthday party and said that she was with you. So was you with you been with her in fifteen? If it's no, tell me no. Please, can we? Jot, Jot, listen. No, I got her Instagram. Yeah, cause you probably got it. If this is true, can you, you got it. I'll call her. Mhm. Mm mhm. Mm Okay, she'll probably answer FaceTime because she thir sound thirsty. So, hold on. FaceTime. I'm a FaceTimer. Let me talk to her. You lost control now, like, I'm talking to her. Hello? Hi. Hi. Hi, hey, what's your name? Mita. Oh, okay. Hey, Mita, this is Kendra. I'm Jocelyn's wife. I'm Jock's wife. Somebody just told me y'all been f***ing around since 2016 to right before our wedding. Is that true? I don't care about y'all using the f*** around, but what I'm getting is that y'all been f***ing around since I've been with her. Um, the last time that I f***ed with y'all was 2019. Where were you with him? Y'all slept together? Where y'all sleep together at? Sleep together? What you mean? And have sex. Where? No, 2019. You said 2019. The last time that we had sex was probably maybe a year or two before that. Oh, did he just? I'm about to see. I'm about to see if he hung up or if. Oh no. So why did you go to Spice's party and you told Sierra a different story? I didn't tell Sierra a different story. Anybody that was there took whatever story. I don't know what story they told you. I told my story. No, girl. No. Do you have anything else to ask her? No. Oh, this is some <laughs> She said 2017. Like, any time in 2017, you get two pieces. Period. Like, period. I'm going to her hotel. I heard the grapevine. Did your friend ain't even telling you the truth? What do you mean? I heard she been a couple months ago. What? She done dropped that on him. You lying. I don't think so. And you look like the dirty bitch in the middle. You. What? Why me? Right, because that's who you look like. Me not understand what you are saying. Do you want me to host this motherfucking party? Yes. So you gonna listen to me, you gonna tell me I'm lying. Somebody say he hit the cat. It's 2022. Spice, your friend. I'm gonna stop talking for me though, because guess what? I call her and she's on her way. What you some bullshit? You knew all that. No, I don't know nothing. And you put me in a bitch seven and want me to host your I'm just promoting my body. That's all. I'm I don't got time for that. I just. I don't. <laughs> What's a guad? Mira. What's a guad? Girl, I've been talking about your ex. I done heard something about you. No, Me? I was saying a lot of things about you. All right. I heard that you f***ed Jock two months ago. I heard that you was entwined with him two Hold months on, ago. Let me check my oh, Well, you better check that mother. Talk to it. Did I have panties on? Or Wait a minute. Stop, stop, stop. Wait, let me stand up. You sit down. Tell your goddamn friend the truth. You tell the truth. She know the truth. I know. What are you talking about? Oh, so bitch, you not my friend. You been lying to me. The truth is it's not two months ago. No, it's not. The girl here with the telling you. First of all, I haven't had sex with him in like three, four years. 
But no, you, you know, keep lying. But no, let me tell you why. In 2019, no, we didn't have physical sex, but he did that thing that he does with his mouth. He ate your Yes, exactly. I have good Everybody that's been with Jock knows he beatboxes on the He's very uh, talented with his tongue and his tool. So I was under full interrogation last night, and that's what I feel like I'm, is the, is the lights hot enough? Because I feel like I'm under interrogation. You is, today too. Calm down, let's hear what happened. Leave her alone, I want to hear what happened. So my phone just keeps ringing with a 301 number. It's Scrappy's baby mother. Bambi? So then in comes Jocelyn's wife. So they're going back and forth trying to trip me up on the years. On one hand, I'm having sympathy for her, and on the other hand, this may sound f***ed up, but I'm, I'm, I'm being real with y'all. I, I started to protect him. I didn't want to tell her about the fellatio in 2019. No, 2019. You said 2019. You said 2019. The last time that we had sex was probably maybe a year or two before that. I'm just being honest. I started to protect him because I'm like, I don't want her to. So you still love him? Listen, I'm not in love with him. I got love for that him. It beats me. Nita is so in love with Jock. I think when they was in a relationship, he mind relationship her. It was bigger than a sexual thing. I think it was a mind thing. Like, he mentally f***ed her, if it makes sense. You know? Poom poom, but he f***ed her brain, too. When I got off the phone, then, I said, I just got me. Because this broad know about me. She know about me. How does she know? Because when I was house hunting, he gave me her number. Jock gave you Kendra number? Yes. To do what? To call her to help me get a house. Oh, he wanted to have all y'all together. And then your birthday last year, she was there. She, she knows about, about me. Party. She all looked uncomfortable. He oh, was so she saw at you me. there? Yes. And they left because she was uncomfortable. I spoke to him later on that evening, and he confirmed that she wanted to leave because she was uncomfortable. I think that it's just downright insane that Kendra Robinson Robinson, she's out there talking to other women, trying to slut shame me when she absolutely knows the truth. I'm always gonna be in Jock's mind and I'm always gonna be in his heart. So she, Kendra, can't say nothing. I'm she, glad she, she knew about that's her. Why I said I'm out of it. I need it. to tell Erica and I need to, they need to know they're being bamboozled because this is all an act. Kendra knows everything. She don't give a You gave a I gave a that's why I'm not married to it. That's hold on, hold on, y'all. Listen, Bryce, congratulations on your show. It's beautiful. Thank you. What happened? Shakana just outed your friend. What do you mean outed her? On the mic. Yo, we I, we just talked to this lady on the phone. She said she f***ed with Jock in 2016, 17. No, it's not 16, it's 19. I said I f***ed with Jock oh, even closer. First of all, first of all, first of all, my vagina does not need a timeline for anybody. I'm glad that Jock and Kendra didn't come to the show now. You know what I'm saying? Because I'm looking at it like, hey, it would have been a fire that couldn't be put out instantly. You know what I'm saying? Hey, John, calm down. Listen, we just talked to your friend. We were like, this lady is cool. She told us she just was f***ing with Jock in 2017 or some like that. 2019. She didn't say that. She said That's what I'm saying. Everybody, I want to talk for Jock this. I feel like Kendra bamboozled Erica and Bambi into some sob story of her feeling like I was with her man, and they didn't even show up. Yes, she ran from the truth. Yeah, cause what they're not gonna do will come at my event, come with all for foolishness. We want to talk to you, like but nobody needs to talk to a for Jack. I didn't know about Kendra until 2019, when I stopped with you Jock. You stopped with him in 2019? Yes. You asked whether I Job. Yes. I said that was the last time was in 2017. You still can do things and be with somebody. So y'all were together. Since after 2000, that. yes. 2019. So my question is, right before the wedding, you told people I told at a group. People, no, that's not what happened. We were sitting at a table and it came up that I the job. And they said when? And I said 2008, 2009. I don't see why my whole life story with Jock needed to be in everybody's You business. know why? Because you made it. Up. No, I, no, no, baby. I was there. I was there. I did not know. Only thing I remember is you were like, yeah, we 
we talked 17, 18, 19, 20. No, that's not what happened. I could have sworn you said 20. No, she said 20. So where would she get that from if you didn't spit this? Wait a minute, wait a minute. Who brought it up? It was but what it matter? Matter? But what matter? So who bring it up, though? We need to know. Why? Because obviously, they're the fuel to the fire. Jock is engaged. Jock, Jock is married. And Jock and he and he And you know he's married and engaged, and you I him, and you him. him. Spice invited me here. I'm sure she told you mm -hmm. um, that we were gonna come by. Mm -hmm. And I thought it would be best to just like clear the air because it's okay. like, come on, Jocelyn. I'm right here. Yeah, come on. You told me that you, you was in a relationship with him in, in 2019, 2016. And you know, I've been with him during these times, so the truth gonna come out. I mean, you're married to him, so does it really matter? Yeah, it matters because I care about the truth. It's a big deal to me if I've been lied to even after my wedding, but, you know? But, but bigger than that, I mean, with the words that she just said, I'm gonna just use it back on her. Like, now that we mad, what would be the reason for you to come out and say anything? Like, Because you had like a party, a Grammy party before our wedding, and that's where people came back to tell me that you stood up in the middle of the dinner and was like, making it seem like I'm some sort of liar, like I'm making up stuff. One thing, I'm sorry about this. I'm sorry because I kept my mouth shut and I've been sitting here and I've been trying to protect you, but everybody going around making me feel like I'm some sort of liar or whatever, I'm not a liar. Okay, so, so I'm so just gonna, the, I'm, the truth is, I messed with Jock since 2008 till about 2019. Yeah. Hearing me just say that she's messed with Jocelyn from 2008 to 2019, you know, we've had moments where we've been apart, but the dates that she alleged you don't fall on that timeline. 2019. Well, really? Well, what? Well, what? Well, what? Well, what? Well, what? We didn't get up in 2019. Where did we get up at? Um, first of all, we met at your club. Which club? Venue. Okay. So say. I'm just saying. You came through the spot. That don't mean we. So say. So what happened? So y'all had sex. Oh. You don't have to be with somebody to have sex. Did I do something to hurt you? You didn't do nothing to hurt me. So I'm why not are you doing this? Well, what I'm are you, not what trying do you think to you're hurt doing? you. Everybody is going around making it seem like my story is all messed up, Josh. Because your story got four and five different Because things. my story got taken. Because understand? everybody's adding their two cents in. And I honestly didn't want to come in between y'all. Because what am I doing talking about something? I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't want to be with him. You brought this stuff up. So it's, I didn't bring anything. It was brought up. Hey, allegations. So I didn't make no allegations. Yes, you did. You just no, I told I'm leaving. Okay, no. It, I'm leaving. Whatever. So that, this is why we're here. So what was going on in 2019? You said it wasn't sexual. What the f was it? It's either y'all f around or y'all didn't f around. Period. What's that? Yeah, what's that? What is this? Yeah, this is the JR people. Oh, the JR. Jocelyn Robinson. Who pulled all the stash of papers? Like, what the f did you say? Did somebody fax these to your city? Let's see. Show it to the lawyer. Thank you. Let me. September 13th, 2019. You could just come down here. Where you at? Come make love to me. Really? And then let's just go to the next day. Uh, it's, the same, it's the same day. Uh, I'm, not, I'm, not gonna be, I'm not gonna be a liar. That's no number. I said we're not gonna be a liar. And just right here. Meet up. I told you no. Oh my God, no. Meet up. I told you not to do that. I'm not gonna be no Making me seem like I'm some kind of liar. You're not gonna make me a liar. I didn't know about her, no. so I don't have so no I don't even know nothing about that. That, oh, that could be whatever, Photoshop, whatever. Listen to me. No, no. You, first and foremost, we don't went to this personal establishment, okay? 
For what? We was invited there. You didn't have to go, but you just wanted well, to go. Well, yeah, I wanted to go, but it didn't look what came out. What the hell? What came out? The wash came out in the ribs. This lady got text messages. I went down to meet his restaurant to clear the air. And even though I wanted to write Mita off and everything she was saying off, I mean, she came and pulled receipts out of her titties. You could just come down here. Come make love to me. Really? Oh, oh, I had a punch your ass. Oh, my God. place of unrest, like having to be a damn fool and believe his ass over what my eyes saw. And it's like, I've never been that person. She pulled out a stack of four by six pieces of paper this thick, and only thing she could show you was come make love to me. That wasn't me. I don't know how to Photoshop text messages. Why wouldn't you, why wouldn't you just pull out the phone to show you? This is Whatever, she said it's a different phone, and it very well could be. If it's a message in there that say that, make love to me, that is bad. I just feel like this is so petty, and I'm looking at my lady like, baby, you gotta, you gotta get it together, cause it ain't that serious. Oh, you said I tried to smash in 2019? Man, people create rumors about celebrities every day. I don't know what y'all did. That's what I'm but according to her, and what she's telling everybody, to her, no. I don't get no. According and you still yelling. According to people. Pointing at me and yelling. What do you think I'm supposed to be doing? Like we just got married, and here I am. Here go the peanut gallery. She still ain't producing that. She still ain't saying what we did. I don't know, but having inappropriate contact, period, it don't matter. Because let me tell you something. If I was in a text message thread, she ain't gave me no. See, nothing. I think Kendra is more so silent than me at this point in time because I've already broken the trust a little by, you know, revealing the kid. But that woman looked me in my eyes and said, look, as long as you don't let that ever happen again in life, let's move forward and try to make this right. And that's what I did. And I made a vow. If you've been with her any time since we've been together, outside not. of a break, then that's a not. violation. I have not. I'm just not convinced that Jocelyn is telling me the truth. Like, I don't even know who the hell the man is. We've already been through so much The baby, Nita, uh, Carly coming out of the cave, all this stuff. Like, who is this phantom? Like, unmask yourself, man. This boy along with the baby boy now being public. You got to fix all that because I'm not trying to be married to you and the whole wagon full of bull the bridal party and you had the opportunity to tell Kendra, but you decided not to. Look Sierra about. is the messy one. She was in Don't the bridal put party. Me in it. What if Mita wasn't telling the truth and then I would have ruined their wedding? Kendra knew I, I existed. I knew you existed. He told me that y'all had past dealings. So then you knew I existed. His in his last marriage, girl. But you knew I existed. I know okay. you exist. I All can right. see you, honey. Okay. But you okay. have to You're but you have. No. Kendra. You're why? Cap. Because because I You're did cap. exist. I kept. I don't give a about you existing, bro. You I made my world frown. You're mad at me, bitch. I'm not be mad, mad at his you. heart, bitch. I'm not mad at him, bitch. Be you heart. You I'm mad not at that. Mad at him. No. If you he wanted to be with you, he can be no. with you, okay? He went not have mad to like me, that, okay? Because if so I had said him to be with him, you would not be with him. Y'all are beautiful women. Let's see it go. Are you mad? You mad? You sit back in that seat, man. F out of it. These cameras is on us. All right. And we're gonna act like we got some goddamn sense. All we, right. don't, we don't even get down like that. All right. All right. Let's try to continue this conversation. Mitos, you told Spice that you love Jock, mm -hmm. and Jock loves you. Jock will always love me. I said that. <laughs> Wait a minute. You need to address that. Somebody open their goddamn mouth to somebody, and somebody shared that with somebody else. Hey, now somebody. What the f in somebody, that's why this so But it wasn't there. around the time <laughs> I've been with her, so, so it don't problem. matter. Okay, she talking 2019. I ain't with me in a long time now. When I found out about her, I literally went to protect Jocelle at first because I didn't want to give up the details. It happened, but it has not interfered with this. So for the record, for the record, no but what it is is when you take it okay. in a moment and people start trying to cross over and do the math and carry the three and got down the, the root of evil of this. What, hey man, stupid listen. ass. 
at the end of the day, it comes across to this point. All right, Mita, you met up with Jock and Kendra with printed receipts. Mm -hmm. Did you think that would settle things once and for all? Uh, yeah, you know, I thought a piece of paper saying that he said, come make love to me was enough. But you know, Jocelyn's a rapper, so he knows how to choose his words. And he basically types something out, claps his hand, and she forgets everything that happens. Basically, that's how it goes. Girl, please, you don't know me. Don't okay. speak on what so, I do. You do not know me, okay? But we could settle please. that once and for all. I mean, I really don't owe her anything. But here's I the don't want here's phone. That's the phone. Jock, is this, is this your number? Is that your telephone number? Uh... It became clear that you knew about the baby. Mm -hmm. huh? So why did you cry that night in front of the girls? Like it seemed like you, like you didn't know. It's just embarrassing. And then, like, the baby stuff we've been dealing with for a very long time, like Jocelyn and I, it literally became a public thing. And so that, in a, like, that panic and that frustration, and it just, like, made me mad all over again. Like, it's, it's straight bullshit. Like, I, I expected you, Jocelyn, to be better. I expected you to make better decisions, dog. Jock, like, do you feel guilty you know, seeing the woman that you love have to deal with these uncomfortable conversations with her friends because of your mess. I do. And I've and I've apologized to her over and over several times a million How? times. You more. just I just found out right that now? these text messages was real. And the the nerve I'm that not, you did not stop. About, I'm not this talking about that. I'm not talking about to that. To apologize part. just says it in itself. Like that you should have stopped this I mean tell somebody tell me if I'm tripping. Yes. So You're not I'm tripping. Speaking. But I thought it out even more because I don't know what else to they and gonna come with. And that's so why I just wait little talk you done. had with me right here. No, no, you no, trying no, to calm no, me no. down because you knew your ass was lying. That's no, just that's embarrassing. Not. Jock, would what you like to take this moment to say something on. to your wife? Time out. I'm trying to let all this be done because I know this is apologizing to you now. Really? And somebody, well, listen to me, please. Okay. And somebody sparked something else and then I got to apologize three more times. Why the f has somebody had to say apologize more than one time? That sounds crazy. Kirk, what does Jock need to do to kind of be accountable for this? I don't know what to say because they marry and it's like the future is in front of them, not behind them. The lies gotta stop though. You you feel and you gotta understand what you feel real from. justified. She embarrassed. High as my, I'm utterly embarrassed. She's embarrassed. Your I, ass, I you can't even control your penis, your semen. You can't control your damn fingers with text. You're embarrassing. I feel embarrassed for our kids. They gonna see us. Mm. About a f and you, text and you message. And you still ain't apologizing. About a text message. So now you finna try and gaslight me? No, 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 no. What You're I'm gonna gaslighting, do? honey. No, I'm not gaslighting. You just admitted that. Let me tell you what I'm not You're not doing. gonna take accountability. I apologize okay. for anything that I put you through, any embarrassment. You gonna reap what you sow. Hold on, I came here and I told you. Got you got some good harvest coming out the ground. You gonna let me finish? I don't like the threats. It's not. It's a promise. Okay, well, it's we, a promise. well we could be done. We can. That's what it's going to be. We can. But we're not going to do I, this. I got, I got a form. I can sign that divorce decree tomorrow no. when I go in the about office. About a text I go in. About a text message? He can sign it. About a text I can go file it. The hell you talking no about? I got e-file in every county in Georgia. Wait, wait. Y'all don't want that. Y'all don't want this. Right. I hope y'all happy. Where we going? Aww. Where are you guys going? Stay beside your man, Kendra. Okay. That's what you do in a marriage. You fight until the very you end. You don't walk off the stage and go have a fit and then come get your oh, wife to go but home. but at least he did it and didn't just walk away and just act like this don't matter. Well, it looks like Jock and Kendra are done for the night, so we hope that they can work things out. So we'll I didn't put us in this situation. You lied to me. But I'm not even here to talk about that. You lied to me. I didn't do none of it. You're right, you didn't. I didn't have no baby. I didn't send me to no text message. You did, though. She said that you sent her Uber. Your ass probably did that, too. You probably f***ed her, too. I did not During the times that she said, I don't deserve for you to lie to me. So if it's true, you got something to worry about. Here. we leave. I apologize, okay? No, listen, it's listen just to, not that simple. Because so I know I'm not doing this way or this way. I want to go that way. All right, cool. Blackwater Shiner Mountain Dew. Call it, call liquor, blue leg Made by the light of a full moon. Is that good old?
know country music, baby. Blackwater Shack. You might not even know it, but I love country. This place has great music, and it welcomes all type of people. Blackwater Shack. Are we at the right place? I know Stevie wanted to show me the South, but this right here is too South for me. Woo! Thank you. Now see, if this Stevie's idea of turning up, I'm gonna have to tell him he gonna turn that down. He might have to mute that shit now. I didn't even know we had this in the A. Or we was even allowed here. <laughs> I was just trying to figure out what made you come here. My man got married, and I want him to have some fun. The A ain't safe. No, the A ain't safe. It's a lot of strip clubs. It's a lot, a lot of turn up. It's a lot of whole lot, a lot of everything. Yeah. They just gotta give this place an effort. There's some good G-rated fun to get into. Hey, look. I got the first round. By the time we get to the second round, I'm gonna go get on the mic. This place is multicultural, but if Jack gets on this mic, somebody might throw a cowboy boot at him. Boom! How you doing? All right, How you all doing? right. Let me get a white one. I got a black one. Normally the bad guy wears the black hat in the westerns, but tonight the black hat is on the good guy. How do you mother do? <laughs> My best friend. Nah, they ain't gonna go dance, I'm straight. I'm engaged. Well, you got the cowboy head on, come on. We gotta be stuck in this bar instead of a strip club. I gotta show these guys that country girls need loving too. Come on, y'all ain't come here to sit down. Okay. Uh, uh, Baby, I'm working, I'm, at, I'm, I'm with my, hold on. I'm, um, I'm with my friend, I'm, I'm gonna call you right when I'm done, all right? Man, we got all these kind of beautiful women all up in here. So let's see how these country girls and country boys get down. <laughs> Boys, hey, what it yet? What it yet? What it yet? Hey, yo, Stevie! Look what we got! Stevie J, where you at? Ray J, where you at? Say Scrappy, where you at? Say Special, where you at? I came to have a good time. We came to have a good time. You came to have a good time. Man, what the hell going on, Shout Your boy Jock up there putting a square and square dancing, and we down here cutting the rug like we were born with snake skin boots on. Well, slap my head and call me silly. These boys loved it once they got into it. Yeehaw! I don't know what dance we was doing that the, the chicken noodle yeah, slash hold noodle. each other's arm. My arm hurt. Stevie and the fellas really came through. Now, I'm not gonna say I had the greatest fun of my life, but you know, this is one of those nights where you can run home and tell your wife all about it. Love. Hey, I just got one question though. Bro, how did your shirt get on that far? Because <laughs> it was hot and then one of the ladies grabbed my arm. Let's see if she believed that when you get your ass home. She gonna button it up right now. She is in that area. I appreciate it. Let me button my shit all the way up to the top. Ray didn't stray one inch tonight. He's gotta have somebody special. I want that for me. Many years of happiness, man. Give me toast with my ring. Yay. Congratulations. Yo, me and Scrappy got ourselves a bachelor pad, man. We both single, ready to mingle. Let the freakiness begin. Me and KD, sting of the past. Me and Cena, we strictly co-parenting. No more smashing. Scrappy and Baby called it quits, too. We just decided to pool our resources and enjoy being single. Dang. Hey, baby. Oh, this is a crazy position. Hey. So me and Cuzzo, we all about our music. Having fun, getting money, and messing with these women, shouter. We single, bro. We is single. I never been single before. It always be, I use this one to get over the next one. You know, I tried for two years just to be loyal, damn. But I ain't get no gratitude. So I might well just do something for myself, you feel me? Yeah. I got the modeling agency I'm doing. Every woman I done came in contact with, I done put on. I got this grocery girl entertainment modeling company. I always done put women on, putting them in music videos, Putting them on the runway, put them on a whole nother level in life, baby. You know what I'm saying? That's what I do. Scrap, you want some more? Yeah, let me get a little bit. You want anything? Um. 
<laughs> nah, I'm good. I'm a pass. All right. <laughs> man, oh man. Scrappy's new assistant, Taylor. I think something serious right there. That's one of the best accessories we got in the bachelor pad. You know what I'm saying? I'm proud of Cuz for even having her come along and help him with some things. And I'm pretty sure some things she can help me with too. Oh, what she pulling up? Nah, but it's just my assistant. Boy, 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 I got so much stuff going on. I'm gonna have to hire a personal assistant. Now she fine and all that, but I'm thinking business right now. So really, hands off. Where's her food? It's like all the way over there in the cabinet. It's just your baby, the jelly baby. It's just your baby. What colors that you got on? Cause it almost looked like a nude, almost. It's almost a nude. <laughs> Ain't nothing like a little table. You keep your hands off of me. I don't touch you. I want to keep it bitten. I don't want you in my business, you feel? But if he's just your assistant, it shouldn't matter. You look concerned? Nah, no, 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 I ain't concerned. You look concerned? Nah, I ain't concerned. So what you doing? Yeah, that real. You got 25, you feel me? I ain't been drinking nothing but protein. I don't sound right, but. I'm gonna win this challenge, you see what I'm saying? When I win, I'll probably do something nice for cuz. You know, like maybe get him a waist trainer or something. Gentlemen, gentlemen, this is a day of reckoning today. The guys have had three weeks to drop their bra sizes. I have my doubts if I find a brand ambassador, but somebody is gonna win today. Listen, man, being a representative, it's not just my opinion that matters. It's like, ladies really buy more things than men do. That's why I'm here. So, you know, I brought a few beautiful women to help me make my decision. What do you mean? Ladies! Yes, yes, yes. Oh, wow. Oh, I know them too, yeah. So why can't stuff just be simple with Stevie? It's always gotta be a twist. Wife gotta bring in the two girls, one who happens to be my future ex-wife. These ladies take their bodies real serious, if you can see I'll take it serious, you know, too. <laughs> no matter what, it's the looks that are gonna determine who's gonna rep the brand. Whoever looks best wins. Let's go. Let's go. Who, who me? Come on, baby. Okay. All right. Come on, baby. All right. Let's go, Ja. Come on, Ja. Ja got abs all of a sudden. You know what I'm saying? How you do that? All right, so let's look at these before I pictures right here. Let's see. What do you see, ladies? I see the same thing. Mm -hmm. So, Jock, I see you got the abs going. No, he's not know. breathing, though. <laughs> Jock didn't work out that hard. There ain't no way he went from a beer belly to a six pack since the last time I saw him. They painted on your abs. So, your abs not real? What are you talking about? I have abs yeah. on my finger right now. Oh. Like, it's Cheetah, cheetah, I'm a beach. I knew it, bro. Listen, ladies, that's okay. It's, okay. it's all yeah, right. You know why? Because we're going to have. Two winners today, right? Yeah. Yeah. If I can get a check to hang around with ladies like this right here, I'm in. And the winners are? <laughs> I've worked on this. <laughs> come on, T, the baby. The ladies. After the pictures, I knew it was going to take more than a few weeks for them to get in shape. I just wanted them to get healthy. So I ain't say nothing. A good businessman always has a good backup plan. I got some product for you guys to take home and some parting gifts. At least you don't go home empty-handed. Exactly. I'm never going home empty-handed. Come on, ladies. Hey, hold on, I took my shirt off, bro. $50 for the airbrush I have. Somebody got to reimburse me. Man, how the hell y'all get kicked out of the house, man? Today is the end of an epic era for me and Jock, bro. We got to move up out this joker. We up in there partying, women all up in there, you know what I'm saying? Everybody hollering, going crazy. Now we are evicted. Look at lucky me. I ain't homeless. I did put my house up for sale, but ain't nobody bought it yet. So you know where I'm going? Back to the kingdom. Where y'all going to next, man? I don't know what the hell you finna do, but I kept my house, bro. Man, scrappy hell, man. Done convinced me to move in this bachelor pad with him. But now that we done got evicted, he's just gonna leave me out to dry. It ain't empty right now. Cause I ain't even wanna be there. You know what I'm saying? All them bound memories and all that shit. What happened now? I done got word from Middell. They done just done moved on. One of the Walker homies. That's dirty. And the crazy part, bro, I find out what she done know about it. And she ain't even said nothing about that. At the same time, she could be doing that for your benefit, too. You snap, and then it, it turned into some other they shoot. They shoot. They shoot. No, oh, I ain't shoot. That's a dope. We got to get out the neighborhood. <laughs> oh, hell. Well, maybe we do need to get out of this spot, because uh, it's getting crazy around here. What been going on with your ass since we ain't seen your ass? Man, that girl Amber. 
she been tripping. It's like, I ain't got time to that stressed yeah. out. One of my biggest problems with Amber is jealousy. I guess because my Instagram pop and all the girls in my DM because I DJ late night in the club, she's causing me problems trying to make sure all these ladies are having a good time because she ain't on me. And after seeing Sierra the other day, <laughs> I think it might be time to throw in that towel. I got my eye on something else. Like what? Who? Tierra. Tierra who? Whoop de whoop, baby mama? Yeah. Nah, scrap baby mama? This <laughs> true. It ain't no. Oh. Every man for themselves, once you say you're not with this particular woman no more, it's open, bro. I know the bro code thing is a little messy, but I got a real relationship with Tierra, because I've been knowing her for a long time. And with Scrap, it's more business. Tierra and Scrap are no longer involved romantically, so if Amber keep tripping, I'm about to be a single man. Why would I should not be happy? But why you gotta be happy with the man baby mama, though? Like, I um... don't She got more than one baby daddy, too. So if I gotta explain it to him, I gotta explain it to the rest of them. Wow, me and Bam done for good. Now they fool Jay Nick trying to slide up and Scrap baby mama, you know what I'm saying? I feel like the world is, like, coming to an end. Oh, we gonna toast up one last time for the old crib. The old crib. Oh, we gonna be chasing paper, yeah. hey. Super on like Holly Home. Stripping for under the major, hey. Yo, this is crazy, man. I appreciate that. that. There you go, bro. Because, oh, see, this is where we need to be at. So, Scrap called me up, you know what I'm saying, to come jump on this remix. You know, I had to come through and drop some sauce on the track like I do. Listen to the smash that your man Scrappy got right here. I got over my fear of horses and Vina growing up. Scrap did the skydiving thing, so me and Scrap thought that Jock shouldn't be left out of the fun. He was saying that before you came in, he was like, Jock should go on there and jump on my shit, gonna be a banger. Jock, he say he afraid of clowns. Man, we gonna set this fool up. Have him thinking he finna go in there and spit a visers, but he really gonna get insulted by a scary ass clown. Turn me up! <laughs> I almost feel sorry for Jock, but this payback is way too good to pass up. Hope he wears diapers today. Yo, come just, just come check your vocal out, see what you're thinking of right quick. All right, but you gonna get what's coming to you. Hey, that chant? No, you know what I do. Oh, oh, why? What the hell? Oh. Hey man, what, come on, watch out, man. Watch out, bro. You know, a lot of stuff be happening in studios. People be getting killed in the studios. Like they try to kill Tupac in the studio. I'm not trying to be that guy. Hey man, we got, we got, we got to go get him. I'm not playing, scrap. Man, come on, bro. I ain't playing, bro. He trying to show you some love. Jock didn't have no sympathy for little scrap. You know what I'm saying? When I was floating around in the sky machine and all that. So please believe, I ain't finna have no sympathy for him. In the studio. It's going down. Oh, it's fun. Yeah, yeah. 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 Hey, man. Go ahead on, bro. <laughs> but y'all think I'm okay. They always told me don't talk to strangers. I always picture the clown, bro. Grown ass man. Paint his face. Something ain't right, bro. I know you a killer. Hey, man. Go and get his ass up out of here, boy. <laughs> Don't try to clown me. I ain't with it. Y'all play too goddamn with me. I done got myself into a situation that I really don't even know how to handle with Jessica Dime. She fine and all that, but I still got love and loyalty to Bam. Even though she's actually moved on with a whole nother person, <sighs> I'm just finna hit the club with the homies and get my mind right. Hold up, Scrap. Um, Do you see what I see? What the? Look at who's looking at Jock. That ass is saying, come get me. No, it can't be saying, come yes, get it me. Is. No, that Jay Nick girl. Man, ain't no none of that. Jay already said what it is. Jay let us know that him and his girl was having some problems, but that ain't got nothing to do with me. <laughs> oh, she said come here. You don't want these problems. Don't be too much for you. I'm just here for a night out with my boys, man. And I ain't paying no attention to Amber with that goddamn, come here, there, boy, looking ass. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on now. Jock, Jock. Man, forget all that. What you got going on? Man, I'm tripping, right? I'm still trying to get over this bound situation. Like, we really broke up this time. She, like, running around here dating somebody, and I didn't even know it. But, you know, the Betty Idol chick. Oh, yeah, what about I'm messing that? with her. But I done stopped messing with Betty because the bam, Betty Idol, she beefing with Tammy, bam, friend. But then find out Tammy the one hooked up with the dude she dating with. Oh, so you should have smashed. I'm like, wow. You single now? Yeah, I'm single, but I'm just like, I ain't never been in this situation. Cause look, then I start, then I start hollering at Jessica Dime. You know what I'm saying? I had them FaceTime and everything. She definitely juiced up. She hit me with the, we need to go on a date. So where you gonna take her? 
I don't know, bro. I was thinking, I was thinking about taking the like. He, yo, he's gone. He's over here. I was he's in the basement. Job, look. I brought my homies up in here, man, to talk about all my problems and stuff like that. And this fool Jock is so googly-eyed at Jay Nitz, girl. Man, what a love. I don't know what I'm gonna do with this, this, this Jessica chick, bro. Like, I'm getting cold feet, bro. I'm looking at it like I don't even know how to talk to nobody but fam. Like, I'm spending that. Dude. No. Oh, oh. Look who coming over there. No. What's up, y'all? What's happening? Yes, this be my guest. Jesus, be my protector. Cause here come Amber strolling over here with a thick ass. Kurt, this is Amber right here. Hey, Kurt. How you doing, Amber? How you doing? Ain't you Jay Nick's girl? Um, yeah, kind of. <laughs> having a little bit of issues, but... I just need another drink. I could tell she wanted to get down, and I'd stick it to her if I wasn't sticking to the bro code. You want to dance, shot? I want to dance. She's going for the kill. Damn, she went for the kill. My boy Jay Nix got us all over for a night of poker, and of course this girl Amber, she walk around the house with this little bodysuit on, looking like she just wanna. All right, yeah, I ain't gonna even, I ain't gonna go there. <laughs> Stevie came up to the station. Yeah. He didn't announce on the radio that him and Jocelyn was never married. Huh? What? Him and Jocelyn was never married. Oh, we knew that already. Duh. You knew that? I didn't know that. Oh, I, didn't I didn't know that. I'm not sure everybody believed the hype. I've known it all along. What I didn't know is, though, Jay's girl Amber acts the same way in the crib as she acts in the club. <laughs> See, look at you doing the R&B <laughs> Cut the R&B out, man. What you doing? He, he wanted to drink. Wowzers. Maybe I want to drink it for him, too. Ooh. Ooh. I've been in some situations where Amber was in the club, and um, I thought that she may have been a... Um, a little too flirtatious. Not a little, a lot of too flirtatious. I mean, Amber, that's what she does. And for whatever reason, Jay puts up with it. Probably because he's doing his own thing, too, man. I'm going to be honest. These two got a pretty strange relationship. Last time I seen you, you know what I'm saying? You were talking about to get her up. My brother got options. I see. Yeah. I see. Oh, shit, man, Amber's shaky, bro. She be doing too much flirting. I'm cool with the stripping, you know what I'm saying? But it just be too much flirt going on. You got to flirt to get the tips. Amber and I have been together for almost a year. And honestly, we just been having fun. The biggest problem with me and Amber is jealousy. Jealousy causes trust issues, and trust issues causes the fight 24-7. And who wants to deal with that? Now, me and Tiara, we've been flirting a little bit more. She been trying to convince me to get rid of Amber, but it might be that time to cut Amber loose and see what's popping with Tiara. Here, I'll put you some more in a cup. Bro, what's up with you? You're about to get yours to the top. You is extra right now. To the top? Amber. I'm that man, thousand dollar shirt. Damn, what was that? Ooh. Ooh. Whoa. Damn. Whoa. Damn. Whoa. What the is you doing, Michelle? Wow. I got a mess on them. Now, I'm pretty sure that I just seen Amber, Janie's girl, rub up on Jock Tommy. I mean, hit Tommy, you know what I'm saying? We already done seen how she get down in the strip club. Now she want to do it in front of her man? Boy, that girl got some balls on her. My cuz always getting himself in these sticky situations. What is oh, you doing? Cuz I gave him a f out. That's being disrespectful as f. Wow. Cuz I spilled water on him? You ain't gotta wipe that man. What the f wrong with you? You told me to take care of your people. At this time, my eyes are kind of opening up to different options. Cuz Amber tripping. And you know, as a man, especially out here in Atlanta and all these women, you start opening up your eyes to find another woman that might make you a little bit more happier than the one you with. Can you blame me? You ain't goddamn pat this man. Oh. Well, I haven't been patting yours if you want to get. Bruh. Technically, over a thigh. She touched your thigh meat? I haven't been patting your thigh meat. And why haven't that been happening? Because somebody else has. Why don't you talk about that? Did your friends know about that? Jay's been on some about me flirting with his friends. But you're doing the exact same thing behind my back. Go back to your poker. Man, God damn. So Jay Nix and I have been on the outs. Jay and I had a serious argument the other day because he says I was flirting with his friends at the poker game. I know Jay's been out there with Tierra. Atlanta's such a small place and we all run in the same circles. So when his boy asked me to swing through the hotel, that's just what I did. Oh. Get up. It appears that today I uh, violated the bro code a bit. 
you know, Jay told me he was interested in Tierra, who happens to be Scrap the Young, baby mama. So, you know, I mean, hey, man, I don't really think nobody's wrong here. You know what I'm saying? He, he want to do this, he want to do that. We can all do whatever. Just everybody wear rubbers. You know what I'm saying? We be good. Last time I saw you at the poker game, you know what I'm saying? You stand up with your man. I'm just trying to figure out how we end up right here. Well, why did you tell me to come here then? Uh, what, you wanted to play Uno? Man, Amber was coming on me super hard at the poker game with the fellas. And she was doing it right in front of her man. I couldn't even focus on the card game. All I had my eyes on was Amber because she was like doing the most, you know what I'm saying? And I'm not about to start no with my bro Jay Nix. I mean, he was pretty pissed by the end of the night. The fight was out of control after you guys left. Why you got this on and why you stripping. But, uh, and, wait, who he's messing with? The little bitch, Tierra. Tierra. Oh, you know Tierra, so you knew about the whole situation. Man, I done walked right into a situation. Hold up, I'm just trying to have fun. And I'm not about to be no pun to make somebody jealous. I mean, I slick might have bitten off more than I could chew. I get it, both of y'all doing y'all own thing or whatever, but I'm just saying, whatever y'all were, are. Not, are not. They my homie, you know what I'm saying? For real, for real. So we ain't doing it no more? I mean, I ain't saying we is going to do it no more, and I ain't saying we ain't going to do it no more. But how you going to tell your homie then? What you mean, how I'm going to tell him? How you going to tell your homie? Man, Jay and I go way back, so I got to come clean by this Emma situation. Don't really know how I'm going to do it, but I got to do it. You can just not tell him. No, I don't want to be like around my dude, and he like, yeah, man, I miss my bitch, so I want to be like, bro, ain't no sense of missing her, because she don't give a fuck about you, bro. Jay Nix is not my man anymore. So you really, I don't really got nothing to worry about. So I could just tell him, like, bro, yeah, I'm down, bro. Tell him. That man, goddamn, might be, he might slip love you. If you thought that he really with me like that, you wouldn't be laying in the bed with me. address. I know I got the wrong address. I walk up in my nice outfit in this skating rink. I think Scrappy thought he was taking Gumby out on a date. I'm a boss bitch. I have not been in a skating rink since Memphis. I don't have any words right now. Uh-uh. Yeah. <laughs> what the f What the who? Hey, do you too. Am I being punked? Oh. Uh, Where the f is Scrappy? Is Give me this. Scrappy got in way over his head this time trying to flirt with Miss Jessica Dine. I mean, personally, I just think she a little too much for him to handle. And you know he's still hung up over the bam, you know what I'm saying? He just hates to admit it. So I'm glad I'm taking one for the team because I'm about to get dime a date she'll never forget. What's up with this date and I'm supposed to be being Scrappy? Where this at? He could uh -huh. at least hit me up. Scrappy FaceTime me and blow me up all the time. He could at least call me and let me know and I could have respected that. Well, cause ain't here because I don't want Bambi, apparently. Baby teeth Bambi. Yeah, whatever's going on got him in a little situation. Her being with another dude, that's what got him in another situation, because when I was just at Mimi's birthday party, she was at the party with another dude. No wonder Scrappy been FaceTiming me and whatnot. And she gets mad, and I'll try to fight. It's like, Gumby, sit down. Oh, you saying that too? Yeah, sit down, Gumby. Don't play with me. I don't know what's wrong with Scrappy, but I don't have time for it. Scrappy, you had a chance to move on and upgrade, and you didn't. Bye-bye. Scrappy, with this whole situation, I'm the only one to do the disrespecting around here. I'm the boss. It ain't no excuse for not coming to meet me here. All right, so what, what can I do to make this right? I'm glad you came to meet me. I appreciate it. Then we can go kick or something. Mm-hmm. Please. <laughs> I had to find out through the streets that Jacques was having this little comedy show. Oh, apparently Jacques got jokes. So I gathered my little crew. Now Jacques has to explain to me and his baby mama Cena what's really going on with him and Tom. <laughs> okay. That's what I'm a woman. Up. I'm mature. Jacques, what's going on? What's the f Invite them amongst the ropes and if they can control oh, themselves. What's up, John? Hey. I purposely didn't tell Carly about my little show tonight, but here she is with her little new squad. With Melissa like she her henchman or something, and I already know seen her because I called ass out about Rod. So far, I've done a pretty good job of keeping Carly away from Tommy and away from Cena. But it looked like tonight my little run will come to an end. How y'all doing? What you doing? You doing Tommy, babe? Hey, Grandma! Hey, Grandma! Hi, Melissa. Who's you in tonight? 
happen You in a hype mood, baby. Why you with Tommy the scammer? What? Tommy who? Tommy what? Tommy what? This is the moment I've been waiting for. The moment that Carly Rae realizes that I can steal her man just like she tried to steal mine. So what's up with you? So, uh, I mean, I'm you see what's up with him? You see what's up with him, bitch? This first. Come on now, Dad. This first, bitch. You the thought that you always been, bitch. You have no pull. Bitch, get the f*** out of here. You're Over, we could talk like ladies. I'm trying to ask my baby father why he here with me. That's what you need. They about to thump, Jack. Boom! You feel what I'm saying? You gotta watch the whole damn house crumble down. Now that what cuz old Jock get for playing with that pie. You know what I'm saying? You had a bitch, she couldn't even throw hundreds at me. She throw ones. It's but very disrespectful. It's very disrespectful. Circus clown who destroyed Sierra's marriage. Grandma, bitch! Me, me. Come on then, bitch! Come on! I never met this hoe before, so I guess it's hate by association. Well, the feeling's the same, sweetie, because you over here buddied up with the scam artist. What's up, hoe? I've never met this girl, Carly, but Tommy told me that this is the hoe that stole her man. So if Tommy is ready to wreck, bitch, I'm right here with you, bro. Most valuable hoe? This is exactly what I didn't want to happen between them two. I tried my damnest to keep them apart. All hell done broke loose, man. I don't even know what the hell they're yelling at each other. But I tell you what, I'm looking for security to wrap this night up real quick. You did. Get up off me, man. Calm down. Get up off me, man. I'm over this s over. You're gonna make me go to check. Well, I really didn't come here to beat anyone's ass. I really just came to learn the truth. But this gutter rat is taking me way out of character. How dare Jock put me in this position? You can't touch me, bitch. Come on now. Please, we're gonna get this mother back.